Um, I'm pushing the show live now, so it, you, it should appear in the next few minutes. Let's see if it appears. Okay, I'll go there. Okay, Alex. So VR Live, early show, 8.41 Pacific Standard Time. Hello, Glenn's Aviation Love. Glad you're here, and Jillian, nice to see you. Uh, just uh, starting up our show, firing up the circuits right now. It is, what's, uh, what is it today? Today is, it's a beautiful day, actually. It's the 18th, Thursday, the 18th of April. Hope you are all doing well, and um, yeah, it's just awesome. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning. Hello, Thomas. Nice to see you here. We have our first departure. Look who it is. It is Amazon Prime, believe it or not. 767, great way to start the show, I have to say. Wow. Amazon Prime 767, hauling those packages. Jeff Bezos. Oh, early rotation. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I love it. Love it. Love it. Awesome, awesome way to start the show. He'll puncture the roof in the usual spot. We'll be set up for him. I guess he'll be right, kind of right, right around there is where he'll present. Oh, he was up super early, actually. Yeah, so Amazon Prime, 767-300 freighter. Takes the prize as our first departure. Looks like it's banking towards the south. So heading towards the United States. Packages. Yeah, they're pretty pretty quick on the uh, on the turn there to head to the US. Very, very cool actually. So it's a nice morning and we've got another heavy actually setting up for us right here. That's Air Canada. And uh, let's figure out where this is heading to. Looks like it's uh, actually the Air Canada 5. Is I right on that? Uh, it's heading to Newark. This is heading to Newark. New York, Newark, New Jersey, actually. It's the New York service, which operates to Newark. 787 Air Canada Flight 548. Hi, Peter. Nice to see you here, Peter. And... Weather's changing here in Vancouver. Our days are getting a little bit warmer, which is quite nice. Oh, we've got a Q400 on the roll, but I'm actually going to hold uh, the Dreamliner uh, for the taxi out here, just so we can see the uh, terminal buildings in the background. It's a, just a lovely view. We're going to have a lot of Q48, Q400 departures, just like that. Oh, look at the mountains. There you go. We still have nice snow on the mountains. But that'll change quickly now. So as we head into the latter part of April and early May, uh, that snow uh, will go. Oh, and of course we have our Jumbolino. It's a Thursday. And Thursday is Jumbolino Day, or RJ Day. Uh, North Caribou, RJ, will depart. Usually departs on a Thursday for the show. So uh, a lot happening today. It should be a busy day for us looking forward to it and 
Hope you've you guys have been well. Oh, we've got a max. We got a max on the roll here. Obviously, I'm at the south terminal right now. We'll have to figure out where this max is going to here in just a sec. I wonder if we get an early rotation. Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to see. Not quite. Not th not this time. But you never know, right? You never know. Who's ta We've got another... What else is taxing out there? Uh, okay. Let's go back to our Dreamliner. Thank you, uh, Julian. Yeah, I agree. The mountains are absolutely stunning. Look at them. Look at them. See the ski runs at Cypress Bowl? So... I'm so glad, Glenn, as well. Um, it's just something... I love being here. I love spotting. And it's nice to hang out. And... Oh, we've got a little... What was that? That's a Navajo. That's the... Uh, that, that Navajo is a regular operator here out of the South Terminal, so I'm sure we'll see it back. It's just heading over to uh, Nanaimo, Qualicum Beach. And, yeah, let's, this is our Newark service heading out. Air Canada's Dreamliner heading towards Newark, New Jersey. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks good to my eyes, actually. We're on runway 26 for departures today. 26 left on the departure side of the house. Where we are situated here at the South Terminal, it's a pretty decent view here of the uh, threshold there. I'll turn the radios on in a bit. Not too windy. You can see the windsock is... Yeah, it's okay. Very, very nice view that we have here. Wow. Nice stuff. Off they go. Stateside. They're rolling. No delays on the roll. No delays rolling, actually. Biz Jet. Tight a bit for the roll past. Wonder. Whoa. He'll be a bit heavy. He'll be a bit heavy there. But we'll... I'm thinking he's going to appear at the usual spot. Just right by the tree, so we'll set the camera up right there and wait for the Dreamliner heading to Newark to present. Kind of right about there. Yeah, that was bang on, actually. Off they go. Gear up. Beautiful. Nice climb out. Give you guys a bit of a tour of the lay of the land. So yeah, we're at the South Terminal. It's nice and quiet and sunny here. Oh, but we've got Air North. <laughs> so busy. Nice way to it's a nice way to start the show. Busy, right? We've got Air North at the button. Right there. So uh, but before that we've got a Q four hundred getting ready to depart. Perfect. Nicely in frame, I must say. The Q400 is heading to Portland. It's Air Canada Jazz Flight 652 on the roll. Off to PDX Airport in the States. As I say, we're going to have a lot of these departures today, Q400s. An ever so popular aircraft here at YVR. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. 
Okay, let's get let's get air north before they disappear onto the runway there. I'm looking. For, there it is. There's air north. Obviously heading over to Whitehorse. Beautiful. Looking good. Runway 26 left departure here at YVR. You're watching Henry Tenby reporting from Vancouver Airport South Terminal. YVR live. Beautiful. Another beautiful departure on a beautiful morning. Tighten her up right about there. Maybe we get an early rotation. Yeah, we did. We did get an early rotation. Oh, hang on, look at this. Beautiful biz jet taxing out. Not sure what it is. Might re require some checking on the reg registration our resident oh helijet hotel juliet juliet it belongs to helijet nice beautiful absolutely beautiful and air canada on the roll what else is new <laughs> 320 What's happening this morning? It's a busy Thursday morning here at YVR. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, back to the threshold. We got another departure. Where is it? Yeah, Q400. Let's see if I can figure that out. Mr. Kodak and NW. Eva, nice to see you, Eva. Awesome that you're here. Oh, it's <laughs> checking the chat. Kind of don't want to miss the uh, Q400 departure. It's trying to figure out where this Q400 is actually heading to. Nice. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay, back to the button, because it is busy. We've got a bit of a morning rush happening here, as you, you know. United Airlines turning on to the active. And let's see if I can figure... United is heading to uh, Denver. It's the United Airlines 640. Nice. Buzzsaw. rotation there and let's see if we can do a follow-out he should present right about there for us so yep there's the climb out heading to Denver Colorado two and a half hour airtime from Vancouver approximately to Denver Off they go. So uh, I'll give a little bit of the lay of the land here from the south terminal. As you can see, I'm I'm at the OBS deck, so might as well just welcome everybody to the show. Let's let's do. I have a little bit of spare time here, so why don't we just open it up just a tad, and I'll put myself on camera. And uh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Kodak, for joining us from Toronto. So here we are at Vancouver International Airport. Uh, my name is Henry Tenby. It's just after 9 o'clock in the morning. This beautiful Thursday morning here at YVR. I am at the South Terminal. I'm 
the only person here. So it's a great, great time. It's a great, just a lovely day. It's a great time to be here. There's a gentle breeze. Uh, we're on runway 26 left for departures. And uh, we're going to have a good show. It's going to be fun. The weather's going to be great. Uh, we're going to have some good traffic. We've, sorry, we've got a, right now, I've got a Saab 340 uh, departing. So I want to get that for us. It's on the roll right there. Nice. Commuter takeoff. Gear up. Nice climb out. Beautiful climb out. So, what's happening over at the main terminal area? It's, oh, we've got flare coming out. Thanks for the heads up, uh, Mr. Kodak. No, it was NW that advised me that the Helijet Citation was a Citation 10. I think that's a new aircraft for Helijet. They also... Oh, there was a quick a landing on the other side. I It was, a, it was an A340... No, A330 Air Canada, it looked like. So, um, but we'll, we'll have more chances to see those. But a lot of aircraft are taxing out because it's the morning rush right now. It's the morning rush. And as you can see, we've got a flare coming out. And behind flare, we've got Air Canada Max. So, uh, we've got a float plane, amphibian actually, taxing. There's a lot happening busy. It is busy. So we've got an amphibian aircraft. Thought I saw it. There it is. It's a citation on amphibs. Not, an un not the most common airplane, actually, that you'll see on a live stream. Oh, look how fast. He's up fast. Very short takeoff roll, actually. Isn't that cool? Very neat. Nice to see. Very nice to see. Very cool. Hello, Venkman7. Mike, nice to see you here, as always. Hope you're doing well uh, this morning. Hope your day has started well and... You'll be able to have the show in the background as you work away nicely this morning. I know you're you're working right now. But yeah, nice to see you here in the show, Venkman. That's awesome. Good morning. Yes, I'm an early bird. What's the plane spotting location called? Well, this particular plane spotting location is called the Vancouver South Terminal. I'm at the observation deck at the South Terminal at Vancouver Airport. So, it's quite a good location. There's, we've got a max taxing out. I'll try. I'll figure out where that's headed to here in just a bit. We'll follow it as it make, makes its way down to the, uh, the turn point. Hope you guys are all, you ladies and gentlemen are all doing well this morning or this afternoon, wherever you happen to maybe watching for. From nice. As I say in just a second, once once he lines up on the runway, I'll be able to have a look at my flight tracking software and figure out where this aircraft's headed to. Yeah, he's going a bit slow, so. Let's bring the camera right there, and let's see if we can figure this out. Yeg, no, the flare is going to Edmonton. The Air Canada is going to Houston. So flare is right there, heading to Yeg, Edmonton. So we'll, we'll do the follow-out on the flare first. And then we'll do our... Houston, Air Canada, Houston departure. And of 
I've got the radios here with me too. We'll turn on the ATC in just a bit when I need to give my voice a bit of a break. But yeah, this is a nice, uh, really nice morning. We've got our morning departure traffic, which we're enjoying together here on the show. Double whammy there, two for one. Yeah, I think I think we got a we got a rotation and here's what is this coming in? Is that FedEx? Yes. FedEx. With their caravan. And Air Canada is now set up on the runway for depart their departure to International Airport Houston. It's the Air Canada flight 1300. Let's gently move the camera around. No delay. No delay on the roll there. Nice. Stop Houston. What's that about a four hour flight? Something like that, I'm guessing. Will be their airtime. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. And our next departure is a Q400. And I'll tell you guys where the Q400 is going right now. The Q400 is heading to Kamloops. And note again, very little uh, separation between these aircraft. There it goes. Windsock is alive. there on the rotation. Off to the loops. The interior cam loops. It's about halfway between here and Calgary if you're driving. And we've got a WestJet taxing out right now. Just about ready to make the turn right there. And oh, there's a uh, Beach 1900 heading out first of all. No titles on that. But the WestJet behind it is going to... Well, it's not populating. Uh, uh, San Jose Cabo. So the WestJet is going to Cabo as WestJet Flight 2060. So, hello Amy Staffner. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining, Amy. Beach 1900D on the roll. I think it's Central Mountain Air. I think that's one of their aircraft. Generic colors. Gear up. Okay, let's get back to the ground here for the WestJet. Heading to Cabo, San Lucas. Isn't that cool? Picture is pretty sharp. This morning we don't have any heat distortion. It's because it, we've got the, it's the cool of the morning, so the image is actually quite crisp. Right now, as the day uh, as the day leads on, of course the temperatures will climb. We're expecting mid-teens, 14, 15 today. So the heat the heat distortion will build as well. So that's to be expected. But right now it's a nice and crisp image. They go off to Cabo. Cabo Wabo. This looks nice. Cool. 
very neat. Lovely. I'm not, this is probably Central Mountain Air. I'm guessing. Yeah, CMA, Central Mountain Air. Looking absolutely splendid and gorgeous this morning here at YVR for our live stream. Operating a charter flight, I'm sure. A regular Vancouver resident. CMA have a number of Dash 8s based here. Okay. Say it's pretty busy, is it? Ooh, early rotation on the Air Canada. Nice. Really nice, actually. Lucky for us, I guess that aircraft's empty. Or not empty, but not 100% full to be able to get a rotation like that out of it. Let's figure out where it's going. It's heading to. Oh, sorry. I uh, temporarily lost my screen. But. I'll find out shortly. We'll wait for the we'll wait for the dash eight here. That aircraft that we just saw is heading to Edmonton actually. It's the Air Canada 234. It's an A319. So yeah. Wow. I'd like to thank Venkman 7, Mike. Venkman7, thank you so very much uh, for gifting five Jetflix memberships. That is awesome. You're watching this live stream on the Jetflix TV channel. My name is Henry Tenby, and mega thanks to Venkman7, a.k.a. Mike, for gifting five Jetflix memberships. That is awesome. Thank you so very, very much for that support. So the, that dash is going to present here in just a Oh, there it is. I can see the nose, and I can just... Uh, there's the uh, caravan getting airborne. Puttering out. Okay, back to the, let's get the, the dash eight, which I think should, there we go. There's the dash eight. Taxing out quite nicely, purposefully. Central Mountain Air operating a charter out of Vancouver. You're watching YVR Live. This is Henry Tenby. It is about, what is the time right now? It's about just after 9 o'clock. It's about 10 after 9 on Thursday. Thursday show. That is cool. Waiting for his departure. And oh, he's rolling right now. Neat. up into the cool morning air. Lovely. That was fun. Okay, so we've got, a, again, we've got a lot happening here. Believe it or not, it's busy. No worries, Paula. Welcome to the show. We'll be here. No panic, no rush. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining the show, Paula. And Yorkshire. Hello, Yorkshire Rose. Yorkshire says, spent spent 
most of my life in the workers' lounge. Well, I'm glad you have emerged from the lounge and presented your your presence here on the sh- on the stream. That's awesome to see you, Yorkshire. And what have we got? We've got a C- CRJ. Air Canada Jazz CRJ. And I'll we'll have to figure out where the CRJ is going. The CRJ is going to... Well, the WestJet's heading to Toronto. we got a WestJet. And the CRJ... Saskatoon. Uh, Saskatoon. It's Air Canada Jazz 742 to Saskatoon. So that's the Air Canada Jazz to Saskatoon right there in center camera as we speak. So, hello, Kirsten Mills. Is there Timbits in the lounge? That would be nice. Timbits and coffee. Quite a bit happening, actually. Um, Airplanes everywhere, which is kind of the way we like it. We've got a Beach 1900 taxiing out behind me. Uh, the CRJ right in camera is waiting for something. I don't see anything on approach, though, but there must be something on approach. So let's just see if I can get something to paw. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got a we've got a BizJet on approach. That is, and I do. I've got I've got visual contact. So as soon as it gets closer, I'll put the BizJet that's on approach. It's a global Bombardier, Bombardier Global Express 7500. That's on approach right now. So that's excellent. Uh, do I think of what do I think of the new pizza item? I didn't know that they have one, Venkman. I haven't been. Recently, I'm I'm a Tim Hortons guy when I'm traveling at airports. So I haven't had a chance to check their new pizza. Oh, there we are. I haven't had a chance to check out their uh, their new pizza. But I do like their soup. I like their sandwiches. That's generally what I'll have is a soup and sandwich combo at Tim Hortons. Look at this Mobile Express. What a monster. Big stuff. Gently as it floats down to the runway. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's just like a kite hanging in the air. Easy does it. Easy does it. Okay. Air Canada Jazz to Saskatoon. Is gently taxing to the runway. Right there. So it's showtime for Saskatoon. Showtime. It's Air Canada 742, actually. Those of you that are keen on flight numbers. My battery's at 72 percent, so we've got we've got good good time here. Actually, he's just waiting for his de- departure clearance. Hello, Rev One Kev, and Tony. Nice to see you, Tony. Thanks for joining in here with us, Vancouver South Terminal, on a lovely, very lovely Thursday morning. Super comfortable. Great to be here. I just love these days. It's a weekday, so we don't have many of the uh, local uh, spotters here today because they're it's a work it's, it is a work day. And the CRO WestJet in the background. Lots of airplanes there waiting to come out. Well, a few anyhow. Quite a few actually. For those of you that are joining us now, we did, our first departure of the show is actually the Amazon Prime 767. So later on, when you're relaxing, you guys might scrub back to the beginning of the show and you'll be able to see the Amazon Prime uh, departure. That was quite a nice airplane. Quite a nice departure for us to start the show off with. Okay, so here's 
WestJet. Let's see what kind of separation we get here. Uh, the WestJet's heading to Toronto. It's WestJet Flight 706. And he's just waiting for separation. It's a 700. I can maybe bring on the radio, see what our radio sounds like. Just three zero Vancouver Channel Center three zero three six Cork Line on way to Detroit. The last two six right here three zero. Radios are nice and strong. Oh, that big corporate jet's coming in here. Wow. Okay, let's hope the West Jet. You know what? I think I'm going to sacrifice the West Jet for this for this Global Express. Look at this. This is something else. This is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Glenn's Aviation Left says, We have a Tim Horton in Gloucester, but not been there yet. Look at this. Today's the day, right? Today is Thursday. We have the uh, the TED Talks here in Vancouver today and tomorrow, so we could have famous people coming in. Yeah, TED Talks. You guys can Google it. I'm pretty sure it's today and tomorrow here at YV here at Vancouver. So we could have a, quite a bit of corporate uh, traffic bringing in uh, the, the, the rich and famous. Any, any faces peering through at us? Not, not. I can see there's people in there. No, uh, nobody's waving at us. Okay, Air Canada Max. On the roll, beautiful. There we go. Look at the mountains, beautiful stuff. Doesn't get nicer than this in Vancouver. V1 almost. Yeah, almost. Almost WestJet turning onto the active. Let's figure out where the WestJet's heading to. The WestJet is heading to Yag Edmonton. Hello, Tony Parkinson. Yes, nice little city hopper. Yeah, sitting backwards on a plane, that's right. VC-10, uh, they had the backward seats. And, and on a lot of the RAF transports, the seats are sitting backwards. So, the, yeah, this uh, WestJet uh, 37800 is heading to Yeg as the WestJet Flight 162. And they're rolling. They're rolling thunder. happening it's one after another actually just the way we like it lots of corporate action today uh, we got a biz jet turning onto the active right that's yeah, an N Reggie on that N Reggie we'll wait for the uh, what is that a beer we'll wait for it to present here on the back side of this uh, 
this aircraft here should present in just a second. We'll do the follow out on it. We've got another beach night. Oh, there we are. Beer jet. Cool. Climbing like a bat out of hell. And our next departure, without wasting a second, <laughs> is a Beach 1900, which will present right about here in about one second, I think. Should. There it is. Coastal Beach 1900C, C model. Wow, it's just been chalk a block actually. Let's have a look at the uh, terminal building. Okay, and I can look at the chat now. <laughs> I can get a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a downtime and have a look at the chat. Well, I'm thrilled. We have something very nice taxing out. Look at this. Uh, oh, corporate iron on the move. Let's see if we can have any recognizable faces here. Sitting backwards. Yeah, see, sitting backwards, soaking up, the, having a nice flight, preparing for his TED Talk, perhaps, whoever it might be. Nice. Nice stuff. Yeah. And... Okay, we have that WestJet New Colors taxing out. Over here. I thought I saw a WestJet new co -ed. No, okay. I guess. Oh, I guess I, I, I lost it. I thought I saw the WestJet new colors, but I guess it was taxing to the gate as opposed to. Because we've got another WestJet here, but that's also old colors. So, but we've got a lot coming out, that's for sure. Quite a lot coming out. But as I say, today should be a pretty busy day for the biz jets and corporate aircraft because of the TED Talks. So there's going to be, I guess, famous people showing up. Their corporate iron. West Jet taxing out purposely. And another Q400. Whoa, quite a lot coming out actually. So we've got the West, one West Jet, and then we've got a Q Air Canada Jazz Q400, followed by another West Jet, followed by what else have we got here? Another Q400, followed by. There's the. That's what I was looking for. Was the new colors West Jet? So. We've got several back-to-back -back airplanes here, and Delta. So we've got half a dozen airplanes at least in the pipe for us. So here we go. Our first one is this WestJet that's heading to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and this is the WestJet. 2152 heading to PVR, Puerto Vallarta. Beauty. Wow. Isn't that neat? It looks so nice actually, taxing, turning on to the active there as it makes the turn. 
there any delay on the roll? I don't think so. Not much. Not much, because they're 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 on the way. They're airspeed alive. It was a good morning, actually, to uh, come out here. Without much delay, we've got a cute Q400 time. Q400 is heading to Comox, CFB Comox. Hello, Steve, Kirsten. Nice to see you, Kirsten and Steve. Huh, that was fast. Not much separation here between the aircraft. It's busy, so they've got to keep the flow you got to keep the flow rate up to uh, so we don't get congestion. Lovely. Right back down to the approach end of the runway. I'm sorry about the fast motion here, guys, but... Uh, just happening fast. So that's WestJet turning on to the active, and this is the uh, WestJet 1788 to Vegas. Heading down to Las Vegas. A little bit of what's that, about 2 hours and 15 minutes airtime from Vancouver. Lucky Devils heading, heading to Vegas for the weekend. Sounds fun. Okay. Well, it's just it's really quite nice and busy. Somebody's coming in on the uh, Oh, that's uh, Porter, isn't it? Porter landing on the other side. And we've got the Q400 right here. Decent transition. Porter to WestJet. Oh, nice. Bit of an early rotation on the Q400. And without much delay, sorry about the cranking, guys. We've got right away another WestJet. This WestJet's heading to uh, Phoenix, actually. Wow, another BizJet coming. Another heavy BizJet coming our way. I'm thrilled to see that there's like over 40 of us here watching. That's amazing. I'm very pleased with that. Good to see you guys here. Hopefully we'll spread the word in time. Have more eyeballs here with us. I'm sure that'll come in due course. We go. we'll, get that, we'll get that roll passed. And here's another corporate, corporate bird coming our way. That's good. Hello, Lee Bracewell. Nice to see you, Lee. Thanks for joining. We're at Vancouver Airport South Terminal. Spotting deck. Look at this nice corporate bird. Beautiful. Austrian registered, so this must be uh, to do with, I'm guessing this is to do with the TED Talks.
We're being lurkers here to see if we can recognize any famous people. Maybe not. Nice looking corporate corporate iron. And we'll transition to our Air Canada or Delta departure. Embraer. Nice climb out. Gear up. Okay, Beach 1900 taxing in for us. Really superbly busy. Superbly busy, I must say. Nice. Uh, Vinkman says we have another quarter service. Uh, yes, another service. Thank you, Vinkman. To Montreal. a uh, Air Canada Max heading to Kelowna. It's the Air Canada 272. Turning on to the active right now. Oh. Parcel. Parcel carrying caravan. No shortage of action, actually. There hasn't... I haven't had a off second since we started the stream, so... Extremely busy this uh, Thursday morning here at YVR. Yeah, so this Boeing, this beautiful Boeing, this Max Sierra Lima uniform is heading to Kelowna. So, yeah, it does. See, you're right, uh, Kirsten. It does seem a bit busier than we would normally. Well, it could be because it's. Out of the winter doldrums, we're now moving into the spring, so the airlines have layered on more flights. Could definitely be that. But look how busy it is. It's just a non-stop departure one after another. Cool. That was cool. Okay, S zipping back to the uh, other end of the runway for our next departure. Another beach night. No, that's the beach. Oh, the battery is collapsing. So I'm going to have to do a battery change. It went down fast, so bear with me. I've got the battery right here. And uh, we're going to do the battery change right now because I don't want to lose the battery. I don't want to do it out of control. So. We're doing a battery change, folks. We're doing a battery change. I'll do the countdown. So here we go for the battery change. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll be back in one second after our battery change. That is better. That is better. So we are, we're back. We're back much better. Thank you for your patience. We haven't missed too, too much. Uh, there's that corporate bird, that Austrian aircraft actually turning onto the active. Bizjet. Oh. What a big piece of kit that is. Uh, it, this says Skyside uh, Bombard... Uh, Global Bombardier Global Express. 
She's airspeed alive. See if we get an early rotation out of it with a high performance climb out. That would be cool. Never know. Yeah. Baby VC10, as I like to call it. Done with finesse. Cool. Very cool looking airplane. As I say, very much... Oh, look. We're going to have our Jumbolino movement because the uh, the techs have arrived and they are preparing the Jumbolino for flight. So we're going to have a Jumbolino departure, as we well know. The regulars. And WestJet, no delay rolling. No delay. to the other end, actually. Oh. What's happening? Alaska coming in on the other side. Embraer. And... Oh, I can, I'm not sure if I can be fast enough. Almost. Each 1900. And we've got another Q400 turning on to the active. So, right about there. Okay, wow. Amy Staffnerth. Amy, member for one month, Jetflix Premium. Thank you so much, Amy, for your support. Yay! One month of beautiful plains, stunning mountains, and an awesome host. Amy, you're too kind. Thank you so very much. Uh, Gary says, I wonder I wonder if Henry caught the uh, Pasco flight to... Mass <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Well, I'd like to. I'd like to, uh, for sure. I'd love to come up to Masset, but I guess there's not a mu there's not enough action to do a stream. What do you think, uh, Gary? Is could it would it be a worthwhile stream, or is it just not enough action between uh, movements? The time between too much time between movements. Curious to know. Maybe in the summertime. Maybe in the summertime, Gary. But yeah, I would love to come up. That would be amazing. That would be awesome. Uh, we've... I hear something. Oh, yes. There we go. This guy. Delta. Not Delta. FedEx taking off. Little commuter. Caravan. Not commuter. It's a cargo aircraft. Hauling parcels. Operated by Brooker Wheaton, or Morning Star, as they now call themselves. Now, I think our Dash 8 is turning on to the active Q400. Is it? No, it's still holding. It's still holding, actually. Uh, there, is there something else coming in? Yeah, there is. We've got, a, we've got an arrival, actual, actually. Heavy metal. Looks like a Falcon 50 to me. So maybe this is another TED Talks aircraft. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful corporate iron. Lovely. 
Golly. American registration. I guess it'll taxi uh, right here, clear customs, and we'll be able to see who's on it, maybe. Ooh, Air Canada coming out. <laughs> Look, this is busy. This is nice and busy for us. I am stoked. I am absolutely stoked. Oh, I see. Whether he, yeah, whether I caught it on the stream, I see what you're. Yes. Well, that's it. Because I was wondering. Well, it couldn't be on the airplane. No live streaming on board a live aircraft. I got it. Foot and mouth sy syndrome. Uh, Gary says, yeah, not right now. We get a lot of morning traffic with the RJ. Okay, private jets and, hel and helicopter flights. Okay, thanks, Gary. Thanks for the heads up on that. Uh, Falcon and Global Express as well. Hey, Lee, nice to see you. Thanks for joining. Uh, ni very nice to see you here, Lee. Appreciate that. Hope you're going to have a nice bite to eat. There we go. Q400. Let's figure out where this Q400 is heading to. It's heading to destination not available, but it's Air Canada Jazz Flight 150. So, on my radar, it's just giving a uh, unavailable destination. But no worries. Kirsten said, uh, YYJ had a lot of corporate jets last week. Okay. Victoria. Q400 is rolling nicely. Get a nice rotation out of this. Yeah. Cool. Full rotation. Full rotation, and we've got a Air Canada Heavy taxing out. The Heavy, let's figure out where the Heavy's going to. The Heavy's heading to Air Canada Flight 304 to Montreal. 777 300. High density, I'm guessing. So. Oh, here come. Look, 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 looky, looky. Who's coming in here? This is, yeah. Busy on the south. We made the right decision by coming to the south terminal, I'd say. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, I like. Yeah, you like the, that shot of the mountains there with the triple. It looked good. I agree. So I wonder, as I say, I wonder if we have any uh, famous people on this, uh, this corporate iron here that's taxing in right now. It's going to park at U.S. Customs for sure. Nice mountains. RJ being prepared for service. Boy, oh boy. Nice and busy. Well, let's see if there's anybody famous peering through at us. You guys might be able to recognize better than me. We're being snoops. We are being snoops and sleuths. Sleuths. Is it empty? Maybe. I'm saying, I'm thinking it's empty. That cabin looks pretty empty to me. looked empty, unless somebody was hiding behind the, below the window line. So, this guy's going to sit here for a bit. We've got an Air Canada, uh, no, we've got the WestJet. WestJet is heading to Calgary, 700, WestJet 106, and our Air Canada is right there, Dreamliner, oh no, sorry, not Dreamliner, Triple, but 
we maybe have an aircraft on approach because everybody's waiting for something. They're holding. WestJet is holding, right? WestJet's holding right there. So I'm going to check the uh, my flight radar here and see if I can find an inbound tracking towards us. Let it pop. See if we can get something here. Yeah, it's Elvis. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, I won't do. I'll, I'll spare you guys the Elvis impressions. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, it's actually not an inbound. It's a. Parcel carrier. We've got this caravan, one of our regular caravans, taking off now. The WestJet. Yeah. Is taxing into position nicely. And we don't have any heat distortion. It's just a, it has to do with atmospherics, right? The direction of the wind, the amount of humidity in the atmosphere, the heat. But crisp image. No, we have we're not suffering from heat distortion today, which is nice. It's awesome. Yeah. So WestJet turning into position, heading to Calgary, and it is the WestJet. It's flight number uh, one. Yeah, 106. 106 to Cowtown. It's about ready to depart. Hello, Steve. So, looks good, doesn't it? Looks good to my eyes. Beautiful stuff. Okay, they've released their brakes. Brakes have been released. The journey to Edmonton has officially started. is a beautiful departure. I loved it. <laughs> it was wonderful. It was just wonderful. Okay, back at the button. More action for us. Naturally. Air Canada Maximilian heading to Palm Springs. It's the Air Canada Flight 1046 737 MAX. Just adjusting Onto the departure runway, 26 left. You're watching YVR Live. This is Henry Tenby, your presenter. Pleased to be here with you all. And you're watching on the Jetflix TV channel. steady as I can for you guys. Do we get a rotation? Maybe. Tad. Almost. Almost. Okay. It's Montreal time with, with heavy metal. For Air Canada 777-300 heading to Montreal. Your Trudeau International Airport. Triple. Lovely. Wonder what kind of separation we're going to get. Two for one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful action for us here at YVR. This 
lovely, lovely Thursday morning. Speeds alive. I like the uh, the fin number seven four seven. It's a neat fin number. I will wait for it to present, which will be kind of about there, I think. So we're just going to wait patiently for the presentation of our beautiful Boeing. And I'll zoom in and pounce on him. There it is. Gear up. Next stop, Montreal. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. So we've got a little bit of a break in the action. We've got, obviously, this is our next departure, which is a max. Uh, so we've got a few minutes for that to taxi down here. But we've got corporate aircraft that are coming out. So uh, this max is going to, where's it going to? It's going, it's flight number 97. Where did it go? Right there. It's going uh, to San Jose... Uh, Cabos. Yeah, it's going to Cabos is where it's going. Actually. So... Right there, heading to Cabos. Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. And we've got a WestJet as well, taxing out, uh, where is it? Right there. It's beautiful mountains, I'll frame it nicely with the mountains there for us. And this, this uh, Falcon 50 is now gonna be taxing off uh, over to its uh, FBO. They've just started up their engines again right here. Yeah. Oh, he's uh, gonna be oh, landed. But this fellow is gonna be on its merry way, I'll say. And one, two, three, four. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four. Welcome to Jetflix Premium. I appreciate your awesome support. Thank you so very much. That is wonderful. One, two, three, four. A round of applause. So we've got, I'll just maybe wait a second here for him to hit the throttles. In the meantime, we can watch WestJet taxi down to the button of runway 26 left. I guess any second here it'll uh, trundle off the ramp. coming off the end of the uh, Falcon 50 here. And at 9, was that 993 X-Ray Zulu? Corporate times here. Ted talks. Okay, there we go. It's heading away now. Wow. 
Yeah, that's been really nice. Oh, Merlin. Flying pencil. Flying pencil turning on to the active. I used to work for a company that operated those, based here in Vancouver, called Westex. We had a number of these flying pencils. Back in the late 90s. Flying pencil is up. Swearinger Metro. Fairchild Swearinger Metro. That's what the real name of the airplane is, but the nickname for the aircraft is a flying pencil. For obvious reasons. It's like a flying pencil. Okay, down at the button. WestJet. Turning on to the active. WestJet is heading to... Let's figure it out. Winnipeg. Oh, a big thank you to Greg Bram. Thank you, Greg. Welcome to JetFlix Premium. Awesome. That is wonderful, Greg. I very, very, very much appreciate your support of the channel. Awesome to see you here at the stream. And hopefully you will be a regular viewer on the live streams here at YVR. And I will be talking more about our schedule here. But we're we're going to be doing our live streams on Thursdays. So every Thursday, weather permitting, that's the plan. So plus we'll have the pop-up shows as equipment and situation allows. Jet on the roll nicely. Thanks again, Greg. I do appreciate that. We'll just wait for the uh, WestJet to present. Usually it'll be right about there, around the tree. Where it kind of shows up. So just wait a second. Zoom in maybe a bit more. There it is. Climbing nicely. Climbing nicely. Okay, we've got another Boeing turning on to the active pretty quickly. So let's bring the camera around without making it too visually discomforting. There we go. Max, Air Canada Max is on. Just turned on to the active. It's heading to, yeah, this is Cabo. Air Canada Flight 978 to Cabo. There's the windsock looking good. Next destination, Mexico. I'll wait for it to present, usual spot. We know where it is. We know where it's going to be. It's going to be right around that tree. So, and we've got Air North also taxing out the main terminal. So, we'll point the camera at that in just a second. And there's our Max heading to Cabo. Okay, Air North uh, is right. I wonder. I think they might have just landed on the other side. Point the camera at it. It's right about there's Air North. 
taxiing in. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. It's been so nicely busy here. Approach and departure videos, yes. A bit of a tongue twister, but it's good. It's good. Approach and departure. App depth. App depth videos. That's good. Yes, to afford a flight to just about anywhere. Uh, just the other day I saw uh, that Air Canada is offering their flight bundles. So you can buy a bundle of flights. It's, most of them, I think, are five flights. You get five flights, and you can buy like a North American bundle, a South, uh, South America bundle, a, 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 a international. They, they've got various bundles of flights. And... Uh, what was the prices I was seeing? Like twenty five hundred to five grand, depending on the destination for five flights. So, if you plan your travel smartly, I think you could get uh, there. There could be some nice savings there. So, yeah, interesting concept. The flight bundles. So, yeah, if you check out Air Canada's website, you'll you'll definitely you'll see you'll be able to find the flight bundle promotion. I think. And Air North also offers flight uh, flight bundles as well. Who's pushing back? Is that Air India? Get Hotel Delta Delta Seven Company off your right. We'll hold for you. It sounded like Air India. Maybe we'll have to see. So what's happening here on our Jumbolino? We've got a little bit of a break now. A little bit of a break in the action, so we can put the the Jumbolino on screen. So they're getting this ready to fly today. As we all, as most of us know, uh, this RJ, this North Caribou RJ, flies most Thursdays. So we've seen it fly for the last few years on Thursdays. They've got the doors open. They've got the aircraft maintenance engineers on the airplane. So I'm sure that... It will fly and usually departs around lunchtime, kind of in that time frame. So, yeah. Mike, how are you doing? Yeah, when's I, but I wasn't sure when it's coming in. Polish Air Force this evening. Okay, great. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, that's that's tr that's right. There's a Polish Air Force uh, coming in. It's an Embraer. Oh, 800. Okay, right on. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, so Polish Air Force 737 800 is coming in this evening, 7:30. Do we know when it's leaving? Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Interesting. Fantastic. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Wow. A lot of corporate aircraft, though, today. It's the end of the TED Talks. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah, we've had some big corporate aircraft. Yes, I did. Okay. Wow. Okay. So the Austrian aircraft is heading to West Palm Beach. Okay. Yeah, no, we def we saw it. That was awesome. That was awesome. So, but thanks for the heads up on the Polish government aircraft coming in. That'll be cool. So, Glens Aviation will have, okay, it's Air India to Delhi coming out. That's what I thought. That's, I can see it actually now taxing. Uh, it's uh, 777-300. Alpha, Nima, Papa heading to Delhi. So that'll be presenting here, coming around the corner in a short while. So we'll be able to see that. JD, hello, JD. Uh, JD is joining us from the UK. I'm glad you found the channel, Jetflix TV. And um, your friend left Heathrow on Air Canada right on. Awesome. Yes. I have been doing the live streams here at YVR for a couple of years now, and uh, now uh, do the streams here on 
the Jetflix TV channel, which you are watching now. So it's great to be back. Uh, had a bit of a downtime while we just had to re-equip, reconfigure, and everything's all hunky-dory for the most part, I think. I think we've got the stream stable, and it's great to be here. I'm thrilled to be hanging out with you guys here at YVR. And as my friend Mike was just explaining to us, uh, tomorrow is the last day of the TED Talks here in Vancouver. So uh, there'll be probably more corporate airplanes coming and going in support of that. Look how clear it is. We're just... We're enjoying a very nice day here in Vancouver, and the atmospheric conditions are such that we don't have humidity and the heat co to cause the heat distortion. Not much. I mean, there's a little bit there, but, I mean, not very, very much. It's actually a really, really clear video picture there. On, guiding the airplane nicely onto the runway there, <laughs> kind of saying, hey, taxi in here. Yeah, so this particular aircraft, this MAX, is heading to uh, Santa Ana Airport. Oh, that was fast. Performer will be Air India, their beautiful triple seven, which will stick its nose right around the corner in about a second or two. Well, not in a maybe in a few minutes, it'll it'll pop its nose around the corner there. So, but we do have a couple of airplanes taxiing out right now. We've got a Q400 that's heading to not available, but it's Air Canada Jazz, and behind it we've got a CRJ heading to Sacramento as Air Canada Jazz Flight 596. So uh, maybe we'll go get those first, and then we'll, we'll come around to Air India once we've uh, filmed these departures. So there's the Q400. Oh, another corporate jet. Look at that. And Reggie. Gulf Stream. Quite a nice looking machine. Beautiful, actually. Anything neat, Mike? Oh, yes. Okay. 1035. Terrific. Thanks. That's awesome. Thank you, Mike. We've got a beautiful 78 Air Canada 787 coming out with special titles in about half an hour. One beautiful looking airplane, actually. The congratulations titles on it. So um, my friend Mike just gave us the heads up on it. So we've got a very nice Air Canada 
Dreamliner 787 with special titles, with the congratulations titles that's coming out in a bit. So, yeah, turn and burn, exactly. So, JD Canada, about an hour and a half ago on flight to Vancouver, nine and a half hours flight. To- ah, okay, yes. Yeah, generally speaking, of uh, uh, Heathrow to Vancouver is about a nine-hour flight. Something like that. So your friend will be having a very comfortable and enjoyable flight. There we go. Q400 on the roll. morning here. Really nice morning here in Vancouver. Okay, look who just presented. Look who presented themselves to us nicely. They're India. Stop Alpha 2 short of Alpha requesting April 1. Air India looks nice. Standard issue color scheme on the Air India. Always nice to see. Air India is always welcome on our show. Definitely. Five seven, uh, yeah, that's the cat two line you're at there, so you can move up. Okay, we've got the Smurf departure. Our Sacramento departure is on the roll. Right there. Sacramento, California, capital of the state of California. been really, really good action, I have to say. Uh, JD says, is the Air Canada Express for internal flights or do they go farther afield? Yes, they, they go to the States as well, uh, both Canada and the U.S. Air India is taxing out very nicely. Up with the mountains frame as well for us.
We've had a really uh, busy start to our show. It's been non-stop traffic, actually. Just non-stop. No let-up. Which is really nice. I'm giving my, I'm giving my voice a bit of a, a rest. <laughs> Focus. There we go. Better. Better. Much better. Off to Delhi. What's that? It's, I guess it's about a 13 hour flight. Air India does have overflight uh, rights over Russia. So they're able to operate Vancouver to Delhi non-stop, whereas Air Canada cannot. So there are no Vancouver-Delhi flights at this time for that reason on Air Canada. But if you want to go non-stop from Vancouver to Delhi, this is your ticket, Air India. And you will get to fly over Russian airspace. There's the little caravan landing, and now Air India can make its way to the departure point. Welcome back, Paula. Sorry you got stuck in traffic, but we're here. We're here, so you'll be able to scrub back um, at your leisure later on. I don't, you missed just a few. There's a few biz jets uh, that we had large corporate aircraft in support of the TED Talks. That's about it, really. Uh, I mean, it's been super busy. It's been non-stop action. And um, Air India is still holding, so I'm wondering we might have another aircraft on approach. I'll check. Oh, there it is. It's, it's this aircraft that's going to be uh, taking off before the Air India. So many corporate aircraft today because of the TED Talks. Okay, back to Air India. I think they might be rolling quick. No, they're still in position, actually. What else is possibly uh, coming out, I wonder? I'll just have a look, let's have a look over this way. Uh, nothing from that side. So let me see if there's something on approach. Uh, we've got airplanes that are now piling up behind the Air India. Let's see if there's anything coming in. Yeah, there is. We got a biz jet on approach, actually. It's from Boeing Field, NetJets, uh, Citation 680, uh, coming in from Boeing Field. So, as soon as I see it, I'll point the camera at it and we'll, we'll film the landing. So, oh, I do see it. Okay, so here's our citation from Boeing Field. There it is. Right there. Corporate movement. Short flight from Boeing Field to Vancouver. Very short flight. Probably 25, 20 minutes, maybe something like that. Nicely. 
sure it'll taxi over to where we're standing. Nice braking action. Okay, Air India is now moving. So let's point the camera at Air India so that they can taxi nicely onto the runway. There they go. Nice. Another friend of mine was just here right now, King. So I saw my friend Mike, I saw King. So I guess, yeah, they're coming out for the uh, corporate stuff. Nice to see the vocals out here. My friends are always around. It's Air India lining up quite nicely. in the usual spot and then we've got we'll get our biz jet coming in because we well we might miss the biz jet so yeah the views are we, we're just oh yes nice next stop Delhi nice Okay, here's that biz jet that just came in. Right there. 688QS from Boeing Field. And we've got a WestJet 37 sitting on the active right now, waiting for departure clearance. And the WestJet, let's see if we can figure out what WestJet is heading to uh, Hon Hawaii, Honolulu. Yeah, this, these guys are going to Hawaii. It's the WestJet 1862. I'd like to be on that flight. <laughs> Off to Honolulu, Hawaii. Aloha. The Aloha State. Yes. One of the last states to join the Union, 1959. Prior to that, it was a, a territory. Rolling nicely. climb out of YVR. They usually present right at the tree line there. Yeah, quite... Hello, Paul. Nice to welcome you to the show, Paul Freeman. Thanks for joining. I appreciate that. Next stop, Honolulu. They'll have about a five-hour air time ahead of them out of Vancouver. And we've got a Air Canada Airbus A320 or 19 on the button. I'll gently bring the camera around to it. Right there. And let me figure out where this is heading to. Chicago. It's heading to Chicago. It's an A319. It's Air Canada Flight 1048. Actually. Waiting for the separation. And it'll be on its way momentarily. There it is. It's 
it's rolling. It is rolling nicely. We've got we've got a looks like a King Air turning onto the active, but I'll just quickly follow out the this Boeing or this Airbus heading to Chicago. It's kind of right there, at center screen. Gear up. The door is closed. Gear door closed. Okay, back to the runway. And oh, it's a Pilatus. I, I thought it was a King Air. It's actually a Pilatus. Pilatus. Looking nice. Uh, and Reggie. And registered. So, from the States. Not sure who the operator is. I wonder if we can pick that up. No, it's N320 Uniform Hotel. It just says it's a private operator, private owner. So, who knows? Maybe it was somebody that was here for the TED Talks? Don't know. That requires some research to find out who the owner is. And the destination isn't showing on my radar. Nice snout on that airplane. Very pronounced snout. It reminds me of a drover. For those of you old enough to know what a drover is, you can Google it. Oh, he's up nicely. Very early, actually. Yeah, if you look at Google pictures of a drover, you'll notice that the nose is very similar to that airplane. The drover was an Australian three-engined. Is it three? Yeah, I think it was three-engined airplane. Uh, commuter airplane. Oh, we've got a heavy on approach. Just about missed it. At least we got a peekaboo view of it. Oh, better than nothing, right? <laughs> better than a kick in the backside. So, yeah, have a look at the Drover. And you'll notice that the nose definitely resembles the, the Pilatus, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. I may be wrong, but you guys might agree with me as well. So we have a CRJ, Air Canada Jazz, taxiing out right now with the cargo jet in the background. For those of you that are joining us now and weren't here when the show started... Our first departure of the day, or, or I should say our, our first departure of the stream, was the Amazon Prime 767. And it was very nice. So later on, uh, when, the, when the stream is over, you might scrub back to the beginning of the show and watch that 767 departure. It was kind of cool. Canadair Regional Jet. I'll, once I take my eyes off the camera, I'll have a look at my uh, radar. Yeah, maybe now I can have a quick peekaboo and see where this guy's heading to. It's uh, CRJ. It's heading to San Diego. It's the Air Canada Jazz Flight 7, 764 heading to San Diego. So that's about a, a little over two and a half hour flight, similar flying time to Los Angeles, obviously just a little bit further down the 405 or the I-5 to San Diego, Lindbergh Field. Great, it used to be a great place for plane spotting and taking aircraft slides. 
when I was going to university uh, there uh, in, the, in the late 80s, I went to university in Irvine, California, so I used to drive down to San Diego for plane spotting, and it was awesome. Great place for plane spotting, as was John Wayne Airport. I, they had an ob, open-air OBS deck built in the 60s, which I really enjoyed as well. Oh, the CRJ's rolling. And... Powered those aircraft so unless they've got a good good headwind taking off into a good headwind they're they're usually late rotation aircraft so let's see where it presents kind of there yeah kind of in the usual spot but, yeah off to San Diego California oh Paul says we've got a on finals, maybe I missed the comment. Paul said we had a Air Canada Max 8 from Mexico City on finals. Uh, I guess I missed it, Paul. I apologize. Um, yeah, I think that that was a little bit before I was able to bring the camera over there. So we've got a, a, thir a WestJet taxiing out right now. Right there. Heading to Calgary. One of the uh, regular flights between Vancouver, Calgary, and Edmonton, and Edmonton, operated by WestJet, probably at least once an hour. All destinations: Calgary, Vancouver, Edmonton, Triangle. Really nice weather. Temperature is perfect. It's, I don't know, maybe 10, 11 degrees, but I'm totally comfortable. The sun is shining. It couldn't be a nicer day, actually. It's not too hot, not too cold, not too windy, not too much moisture in the air. It's just perfect. It's a perfect day for streaming our show. Just perfect day. It's calm. Nice and stubby, WestJet 37700, turning on to the active here at runway 26 left. I'm filming from the Vancouver Airport South Terminal Observation Deck, for those of you that are curious. And WestJet is airspeed alive, without a delay on the roll. I'm not talking the sushi roll either. I like both rolls. Oh yeah, we got a nice decent rotation out of it too. Very nice decent rotation. That was good. So I guess he wasn't too, too heavy. So that afforded us a very nice rotation, actually. So they're still working on our Avro liner, preparing it for today's flight. So I guess that'll be in a bit. We'll, we'll definitely be able to see that. And we've got a, we've got a Q400 WestJet heading to Fort St. John right about where there it is. Yeah, Fort St. John, British Columbia is where this aircraft is going. 
WestJet Q400. Turning on to the active. There we go. Gonna sit or will he roll? Sit or roll? That is the question. Thought I saw something up there. Maybe not. There. Kind of, right? We'll focus on the Q400 heading up to Fort St. John, British Columbia. Ooh. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. We've got something nice here. Heli, but kind of missed uh, it was a it was a fast it was a fast fly past I wonder if he's going to rotate yeah he rotated quite nicely very nice gear up Cool. Very, very cool departure. So, what can I tell you guys? I have some interesting news to share. I'll just pop myself on camera because we've got a little bit of a downtime. I'll open up, I'll open up the camera a bit, and I can share some interesting information with you guys. Okay. So, I don't know if many of you guys are fans of the Martin Mars, but the Martin Mars, there are two of them that are at Sprout Lake over on Vancouver Island. Operated, They were operated by Colson, uh, the famous helicopter and firefighting company. And one of the aircraft, uh, it was announced in the media just a few days ago, that one of the aircraft will be restored for one final flight. The, the province of British Columbia has made a $250,000 donation to the museum in Victoria so that they can prepare the Martin Mars for one final flight from Sprout Lake to Victoria. Uh, they plan to do the flight uh, maybe by the end of the year. Uh, whenever it happens, rest assured, I am going to be there and I will make every effort possible to live stream that event. I will go to Victoria, wherever they're going to land the airplane in the water, and film the whole thing. So that will be a live stream that I hope can happen in decent weather. Uh, I just hope it, it can happen. I'll make a million percent effort to be there. So I wanted to share that with you guys. That is big news, that the Martin Mars will fly, God willing, one more time. So... That will be amazing. That will be truly amazing to have another Martin Mars flight. Uh, I've only witnessed the airplane fly a couple times back in 2010 when they brought it to Vancouver Harbor uh, in, in uh, support of the Olympic Winter Olympics that were held here in Vancouver. So, yeah, to be able to see the Martin Mars fly in 2024 or 2025 will be a really big highlight, aviation highlight, and you'll only see it here on uh, Jetflix TV, so on the live stream, so that's my plan to film it, so uh, we've had an, am uh, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going anywhere, but so far we've had an amazing stream, uh, it's been so busy, now we've got a little bit of a downtime, I'll just turn the radio off for a second, excuse, bear with me for a second, and... There we are. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, so 
Uh, I've got my phone with me, so we can have a little bit of a chat. I see that we've got 60 people here, which is really awesome. I'm very happy with that. Um, again, we're, I'm starting out from zero here on um, uh, on launching the uh, YVR live stream here on the Jetflix channel. So starting from zero, uh, that's all good. I'm happy. I'm just enjoying this immensely. So in time, we'll build up our viewer numbers. We'll be able to spread the word that we're, we're doing the show. So uh, my decision is to continue with a regular weekly show on Thursdays. Thursday mornings, Vancouver. Uh, for now, I've set uh, the regular show time to start at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So we'll just keep that for the time being. And if we need to adjust it uh, as the seasons and the flight schedules change, we will. But today we started at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll keep that for now. Thursdays, 9 a.m. as the regular uh, stream time for the YVR live stream. And again, we'll just fine tune that. But I will do pop-up shows as conditions and equipment uh, warrants. So maybe once a week. We'll just have to play it by ear. We'll just have to play it by ear to see how we do with the, the pop-up shows. But as we move into the summer months, there'll be more opportunities for you know later evening shows for the evening arrivals. Those are always a lot of fun because we get uh, some interesting Asian inbounds. British Airways, of course. Who knows what they're going to operate here this summer? I wonder if it'll be the A380. You never know. And we also get, uh, at 6 o'clock, we get the two Convair uh, 580s inbound as well. And you guys, many of you know that I love my classic prop liners. I love my vintage props. So to be able to see the, the Convairs is awesome. Um, so uh, Paul says, try to share your post on Facebook, but you need to set it to public view. Uh, that's okay. So this video, this live stream is a public live stream. So uh, that's interesting. I'll have, I'm just curious about that. Uh, okay. Uh, what's that? Okay. We've got Kelowna Flight Craft coming in. One second, guys. Kelowna Flight Craft, work. I see it. I see it. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much, King. Look at this. Come on. Got this beautiful Boeing setting up here. KF Kelowna Flight Craft Aero Flyer coming in on this side, which is cool. Very neat. Love it. Thanks to King for giving me the heads up on that. Uh, that was very kind of him. I didn't want to miss that. So that was awesome. So we'll just, we'll just hang on a second here uh, before we um, put myself back on camera. Now, Paula, you were saying that you can't post the stream to Facebook. I'm wondering if anybody else might be able to give that a try. Page to see if, if they can post the live stream to, to Facebook. And yeah, JD, it will be epic, definitely, to get the, uh, to get the, uh, the Martin Mars. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm already excited about it, actually. I'm already very excited, so that would be amazing. Um, yeah, the KF, yeah, ex I agree, uh, uh, Mike uh, Venkman, the, the KF livery is absolutely awesome, so... 
And Kirsten says, uh, I'll, you'll just go to the museum. It's a 25-minute drive. That is awesome. You are very lucky to live that close to the museum. And Glenn's Aviation Wolf says, I'm due to fly out of Vancouver in the September on an A350. Okay, so British Airways will have the A350 on the route. So um, maybe we'll get some flight substitutions of A380 or, or 777. We'll just have to play it by ear. Never know. So... Um, yeah, if somebody... Oh, here we go. Look at this. Here we go. Here's the KF Aeroflyer taxing in here. This is sweet. Super sweet, actually. Nice action for us. We're watching Jet Foots TV. This is Henry Tenby. Presenting the YVR live show. And we have a, this beautiful, beautiful Boeing operated by Kimono Flightcraft, KF Aerofire. Looking absolutely awesome. Wow. What a gorgeous looking piece of kit this is. Mega gorgeous. Treat. What a treat. On a gorgeous day, no less. Snow-baked mountains, blue skies, unbelievably gorgeous. Beautiful spotting here at the YVR South Terminal. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Kind of knew it was going to taxi by here for us. That is... One heck of a treat. And thanks to King for giving me the heads up. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed it. That was good. Mixter A350, thank you so much, Mixter, for con confirming that you were able to p post it on Facebook. F Mixter, mega appreciate that. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, guys, I appreciate the support because when you guys post it on Facebook, it'll just kind of help get the word out and maybe bring some more eyeballs that we're all here soaking up the action right now. So... King, thank you very much for the heads up on that. That was awesome. Thank you. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Right. We've got... Thank you. So we've got Special Air Canada taxing out. Yes. The Dreamliner. Awesome. So this WestJet, where is it going? Just so we know. I'm going to have to check it here in a bit. Well, we've got, a, we've got some of the local aviation fans out here now. Just looking up the action. There we go. So here comes the Air Canada special right now. Heading to Shanghai Pudong Airport, Air Canada Flight 25. It's got the special titles on the other side. Very cool. Congratulations on the other side. So yeah, Air Canada Dreamliner, flight 25, heading.
heading to Pudong Airport, Shanghai. juggling act, right? There. Something like that. Something like that. There's Grouse Mountain in the background. It's just a... There's a fine uh, fine-tune adjustment to get the airplane and the mountains perfectly framed, so... We've had, we've been blessed with super busy uh, action here since we got here. Really, it's been a blessing. My my battery's at 29%, so I'm watching it closely. We may have to do a battery change in the next short while, just so everybody knows. Just don't want to surprise that on you all. So it's coming though, but 29% of the battery. This is our Pudong service, Pudong Airport, Shanghai. I've been there many times. Nice airport. Good traffic too. It was always nice to visit Shanghai. The buzzsaw is alive. You know what? This is not the airplane with a special scheme. This is right there. Congratulations. So, this is our special scheme Dreamliner heading to Toronto. It's the Air Canada Flight 112. 
787-9 Dreamliner. Taxing out nicely. But we've got, before this airplane, we do have Porter. So we're going to watch the Porter departure right there. As it turns on, oh, the camera just collapsed from 26% down to zero. So I, we'll have to do a battery change here as soon as this Porter uh, departs. So I've got my battery ready to go. So I wonder if we'll be able to get the Porter in before the battery absolutely calls it quits. But I, I might not be able to do a countdown. So just bear with me. Bear with me. The, the battery is showing zero. And I'm just hoping we can get this in here before it ac actually collapses on us. But if it does collapse, just know that I'll be back momentarily once I've got the battery change done. There's Porter, and once this is out of frame, we're just going to do a battery change. Let's do the battery change now. Let's do the battery change. Okay. Might as well get it done now. Okay, so here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 2, 1. It's battery change. I wanted to get that out of the way. I think it was the prudent thing to do. And now we can get our special 7 Dreamliner. There's our... Excellent prize for the employees. Okay, congratulations, and look at the special tail. It's the employee crank congratulations aircraft. You're watching YVR Live with Henry Tenby. We're at the Vancouver International Airport, South Terminal. This is a live stream. 18th of April, 2024. Yes, congratulations to all the employees of Air Canada. Awesome work in 2024. We can see a bunch of employee signatures on the tail as well. not yet seen this airplane with this, I haven't seen this color scheme or the special commemorative markings on the aircraft as of yet so this is a first for me looks good you can see the tail right there it looks awesome with the signatures we'll see if we can get a nice view of it as it rolls by Let's go, let's go tight and have a look at the, uh, the Employee Excellence Award recipients. There we go. Congratulations. They're all, their signatures and names are all on the tail. Nice stuff. That is nice. Prepare the camera for the fall out. There it is. Button. The 
Alaska Airlines Embraer heading to Seattle. They're just going to wait for their clearance. So SkyWest Flight 3451 heading to Seattle. Here we are. Looking nice. My chin hit the camera. So. Yes, good question, Venkman. Will they update it every year as new employees get the award? It's a great question. They should. They should. It's a good gesture if they do. Alaska's on the roll. You might get an early rotation of this. Yes. Air North? Well, we've got Air North taxing out right. West Jet's taxing out. Air North, I think, is arriving. We've got a Saab 340 on the roll right there. Saab 340 operated for West Jet by Pacific Coastal. Nice wing rock. They're waving at us. Okay. And here is Air North, but I think they they're probably arriving as opposed to leaving. It's my guess. Find out here in a second, right? We'll see if they're coming or going. They might be going. They might be heading out. They might be on their. I think they're on their way out back to probably Whitehorse. I'll check it out here in a second. Victoria, they're heading to Victoria. Wow, I would love to be on that flight to Victoria with Air North. That would be so fun. 10 minute flight over to Victoria. One of the shortest Boeing flights in Canada, I guess. Well worth doing, I'll have to see when, when they operate those, other than on Thursdays. Wow, yeah, it's just, we've got, let's see, so we've got United, we've got WestJet as well, so, uh, let's just figure out where all these airplanes are going, uh, WestJet's going to Toronto, of course United is going to Houston. First, let's do the West Jet. Well, as we're moving from winter to summer schedules, or spring, spring and summer schedules, we're having busier, uh, busier days here at the airport for sure, which makes it oh. Got corporate iron rolling. Falcon 50.
nice banking action, too. Okay, WestJet. There's our, there's our WestJet. There is our WestJet. It's heading to Toronto's WestJet 710. See how long they wait before they're actually wheels in the wells. Do we get Norse Jet? Well, I don't recognize the name Norse Jet. So I don't know about that. Norse Jet. I mean, maybe we do, but it's just not a name that I'm familiar with as a corporate jet operator into Vancouver, but good question. Okay, airspeed's alive. There we go. rotation for us. And here's United going to Houston. International Airport Houston. What flight is it? Uh, what, let's have a look here. Fif 1528 to Houston. What's that? About a four and a half hour, four hour flight I'm guessing. Out of Vancouver, something like that. Okay, Air North, Air North, waiting to power out, there they are, looking very nice, heading to just a short hop across the channel to Victoria, I'm guessing it's 10-12 minute flight, and KF Aeroflyer is taxing out right there too, so great action for us, fabulous action if I dare say so. Boeing day today here at Vancouver, I guess. It's Boeing day. Because we've got the K, look at this. We've got the KF Aero Flyer that's going to go out. Uh, just awesome traffic for us. Awesome traffic for us. This is heading to Calgary, the Air Canada A321. It's the Air Canada Flight 206. And then we're going to film the Aero Flyer. So that's going to be awesome. Such a nice short turnaround for the KF. 
Yeah, airspeed's alive. I just want to, yeah, arrow fire. Arrow fire has wasted no time on their quick Vancouver turnaround. What? Have, how long have they been here? Maybe 50, 20 minutes, something like that. And they're already taxiing onto runway two six left for their departure. So they've wasted no time at all on their Vancouver visit, which is I think pretty regular for Thursdays. They're a regular performer here at YVR. It's a good looking airplane too, nice and stubby. This looks very cool. To my eyes. Looks awesome. They're, I think they're rolling. with a, a light load. Gosh, that must have been a 3,000 foot roll. Definitely not 5,000. That was a very short roll. Awesome stuff. Mega fantastic. Oh boy, so what have we got now? It's helicopter time. It's like an air show here, actually. Almost like an air show. One performer after another. A star. Okay, so what's happening back back at Terra Firma? Okay, so let's figure out where the MAX is going to. The MAX is heading to Los Angeles. It's here in Canada 554. So that's pretty good. Hi, Sue. Nice to see you. LAX. Trying to hold it tight as best I can. Awesome movements for an awesome day, actually. 
There's our WestJet Encore Q400. And this WestJet is heading to, let's figure it out here, Kelowna. It's heading to Kelowna. And it is the WestJet uh, with the flight number 3320. Kelowna. I haven't flown on a Q400 for a very long time, probably 15 years, somewhere or at least 10, and I've only ever had one Q400 flight, and that was from uh, between Vancouver and Portland for the Airliners International Convention, whenever that was, it was at least 10 years ago. Okay, what's next? What is next? Another WestJet special titles. Is that the, the 1000th 737, I think? Something like that. Okay, Venkman, thank you. Air, uh, Korean Air Cargo snuck in on the other side. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, EastJet. <laughs> EastJet. Um, yeah, no, I'm sorry. We I just we don't uh, for proprietary reasons. I just don't get into the equipment that I use. But thank you for asking, Daniel. Um, so, what is okay on the south side? We have nothing right now, but. NG. You guys, as I say, you can probably see it better, better than I can. So, and I hear a large turboprop aircraft is. Oh, maybe it's that. I was gonna say I hear, I hear a turboprop airplane. And lo and behold, we've got this Saw 340. Maybe that's what I'm hearing. So. Um, coming up, well, a week from tomorrow is the arrivals day at the Abbotsford Airport. Of the, uh, there's a special air show that's happening, or it's an open house to promote women and aviation and opportunities for young women to pursue de technical degrees and aviation degrees. And it is being promoted and sponsored by the Canadian and military air force. So they're bringing in 
they're bringing in a lot of neat airplanes to Abbotsford Airport. It's next Friday, and I'm hoping to set up uh, and do a live stream there. So we are going to uh, play it by ear. I'm going to drive out to the Abbotsford Airport with my uh, camera and to see what the spotting locations are on the runway to see if we can make this happen. So that's my plan, is to try to make this happen for next Friday as a pop-up show. So um, we'll, we'll be in touch on that. And we'll just have to play it by ear. But it sounds exciting. There's going to be a lot of neat U.S. military and Canadian military aircraft coming in. I know Canadian Forces Hercules. So there's a lot of heavy metal from the States coming up. Uh, I think KC-135, 767 Freighter. Uh, C5 Galaxy, I think. So it could be an amazing opportunity for us to do some serious spotting together. That's next Friday, so we're going to uh, play it by ear and see how that goes. I'll keep you guys well apprised. So, uh, I should tell you, I will post updates on the community page of the uh, the YouTube my Jetflix YouTube channel. So if you are not yet a subscriber, just hit the subscribe button. It won't cost you a penny. Just hit the subscribe button uh, to the Jetflix channel, and then you'll get notified not only whenever I am going live in the minute, but you're also going to get notifications of my posts to the community channel. So that is my means to communicate with you all to let you know what's happening. So... Um, Please do that. Please, if you haven't done so, do hit that subscribe button and we'll we'll keep you updated as, as best we can here on what's happening. For example, today I, I posted an advance notice that I was going to be doing today's stream at, uh, with a intended launch time of 9 a.m. Pacific time. So please, uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the Jetflix TV channel and you'll get notified. Saw 340 on the roll. Up, up, and away. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a Saw 340. Not Superman. Corny sense of humor. rotation. Okay, so maybe I'll put myself on camera for a second. Why not? Just um, open it up a bit, maybe. That's better. I'll grab my phone. Hey, I've got the phone, everybody. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, we can have a chat. Happy to answer. Sue, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. You're going to get notified. And um, as I said, we've got some exciting news. Next, Actually, it's next weekend is the open house at Abbotsford Airport where they're going to have all these U.S. and Canadian military airplanes on display for the public uh, to pr promote women in aviation. And it's my understanding that a lot of these airplanes will fly into Abbotsford Airport next Friday. And uh, the intention is that I would go there on Friday and, <clears throat> excuse me, and do a live stream to see whatever we can see. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that uh, through the um, the community channel on on uh, the Jetflix channel here on YouTube. So. You'll see that you'll see any posts uh, and updates uh, on that page, and let's see if it can happen. I hope it can. And for, for the live streams, the YVR live streams moving forward, uh, Thursday is going to be the uh, weekly day uh, that we're going to do the shows. Thursday mornings, and uh, for now, I've set 9 a.m. as as the time, but we may fine tune that uh, plus or minus as schedules and weather uh, allows and whatnot. Obviously, if it's raining uh, and, and or bad weather, it, that will negate the show. So uh, Thursdays are 
going to be our YVR live stream days moving forward. So you guys all know it's Thursday morning, rough uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time. And we've got a busy summer. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Also, I will do pop-up shows as conditions warrant. So, oh, we've got, well, we've got a Beach 1900 taxing in. So we can just put that on camera right now because it's going to get noisy as well so I don't want to have to compete against that I'll just stop the camera down something like that there we are yeah it's going to get really noisy and another Beach 1900 just arrived so oh Central Mountain CMA as we call them Central Mountain Airlines. It's going to park right here. You can see, he's, he's going to marshal it in right there. So it's going to get super noisy. on the ears, just the way I like it. Yeah. Yeah, me too, Paul. I'm looking forward to the pop-up shows. Although, you know, some of the pop-up shows may be early morning shows for early morning departures. So, uh, those of you watching over in the UK and Europe, it would be... That'll work fine. Some, But some of the pop-up shows will be evening shows. So, golden hour sh shows. So, you guys will be sleeping, so you'd probably have to watch them on rewind rerun uh, when you wake up or the next day but yeah so with the longer days now we can do evening shows because it doesn't get dark till 7.30, 8 o'clock at night good action, good commuter action actually really nice commuter action so th that's, this is number two and our third commuter is right here. Is this a new airplane, I wonder? No, no it's not really. It's not a black tail, a solid blue tail. here to the South Terminal as well. Busy time at the South Terminal. Very busy time. And here comes our passengers. Central Mountain, quite a few passengers actually. Quite a few passengers arriving here in Vancouver. Yeah, I'm sure. Full flight. Quite a full flight, if I dare say so myself. Blast from the past, yeah. That's right, Kirsten. Lots of good heavies. Lots of Asian heavies, and we've got some European heavies. We've got, of course, British Airways. We've got Eva Air, we've got, from Switzerland, the A340 guys, Edelweiss. That's awesome. Yeah, the screen is a bit bright. I stopped it down. Uh, should be okay now. But I did open it up. I had it bright. So I did. I stopped it down. Uh, Mike, hopefully it's a bit better now. Yeah, they're lucky devils. You're right. Very lucky devils to get to fly in that Beach 1900. I would have enjoyed the flight, I can tell you that. So, they've arrived. Oh, you know what? It's going to be noisy. It's going to be quite noisy. Look. Look, 
this guy's going to be doing his engine runs. He's gone into the engine run-up bay area. There he goes. Engine run-up time. I'm just going to put an extra earplug in. Excuse me for a second, folks. I've got extra earplugs on top of the earplugs I'm already wearing. So double earplugs. Can you believe that? There we go. Much better. Much better. Well, these guys do their engine runs. Could go for quite some time. Maybe go for 15 minutes. Never know. So, it's okay. That's the reason why we have earplugs. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mike. I'm glad that the uh, yeah, I, I just I, I I opened up the camera and made it brighter when I put myself on, so I stopped it back down. Now that uh, my mug is not on camera, so what is what this guy do? His engine is run up. How's my battery? My battery's at 53 percent. So it's kind of okay, I shall say. Yeah. But I, I won't try to com compete too much with this engine runner. It's hard on my voice just to compete with it. Something to look at, though, isn't it? Convair 580 doing an engine run. Oh, that would be sweet. I've never seen that. But if they could bring a 580 here for engine run-ups, oh, I would be in heaven. Yeah, with the Max, uh, Air Canada Max here. Oh, there we go. The 
Air Canada Max is headed to Edmonton. It's Air Canada Flight 236. So we'll follow it out. We'll follow it down. Threshold. Six left departures here at YVR today. Is so, yeah, Icebird seven five seven. Um, Is Kaont Ontario Airport in California? I'm just wondering if that's where K O N T is. Ontario. I'm just to guess. There we go. Looking good. Air Canada, taxing into position beautifully. For their flight, the Yeg, Air Canada Flight 236, departing to the Edmonton International Airport. there at the end not too bad but let's see if we can watch it as it goes through the roof right about there I'll present <laughs> okay so we've got a hang on got next I saw something else oh yeah we've got a of course no, if not, the camera's gonna there we go it's gotta adjust the uh, tripod just a tad better it's a bit better I knocked the foot of the tripod out of kilter so it's had to put it back in in, uh, in level. So we've now got a CRJ, Air Canada CRJ, that's sitting down at the button, ready to turn on to the active. And Ontario, thank you, David. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Ontario Airport. That's exactly what I thought. Southern California, in Los Angeles, essentially. So yeah, it's interesting that they've got Convair 580 operating out of there. That's awesome news. I guess it must be... Um, oh, the guys out of... Uh, I was going to say uh, Michigan. ULG or I ILG. I ILG Group. They're the largest Convair operator in, in the United States. I think they're the largest Convair operator in North America, if not the world. ILG. Windsock looks good. Nice. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. This aircraft is heading to San Francisco. It's Air Canada Jazz Flight 
8-4-0. And no delay rolling either. Tighter on that if I can. Yes, I can. Oh, nice. We did get the rotation. We got the rotation. That's awesome. So they finally finished their engine run up with this Saab 340. So they're, it's going to ta taxing back to the maintenance base. So we're going to have some rest for the ears, which is nice. Finished their engine tests. The airplane looks good. It's a nice image right there. Full frame, sunny side on, no clutter. Looks good. That's a nice image. Clean image. Delta. Landing on the north side. Oh. what they're waiting for. At least I can take the earplugs out. Oh, they're waiting for the Niskew Air. Yeah, the Niskew Air we saw earlier today. Uh, Niskew Air Navajo, but it's, maybe it's not coming this way. Maybe it's not coming this way, but I definitely see the Niskew Air Navajo. Yeah, so he's moving out of the way. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, make way. Big airplane making way for a middle airplane. Let's see if the Niskew Air presents itself for us. I think it's behind the Canada Customs Building, so we'll just give it a second here. See if the Niskew Air. Just wait one sec. Well, hang on a, just a second. Maybe not. No Niskew Air. Okay. FedEx. Okay. Well. Maybe I can put myself back on camera. Have a chat with you guys. I'll open up the camera a bit. That's... There we go. Open. Venkman. See, I've opened the camera just to make it a bit brighter for us to have a chit-chat. Okay. I am here. I'm here. Uh, what can we say? Uh, thank you, Paul. Yes, it's very scenic here in Vancouver, especially on this sunny, gorgeous day. Um, welcome to the show, David Underwood. Glad that you're able to make it. Uh, better late than never, but it's always awesome to see you. So thank you again. Thank you so much for that. It was nice to see Icebird 757 here as well. So that was great. Uh, I'm just wondering what questions you guys have that I might be able to address while well, we've got just a tad of downtime. Um, again, just to reiterate, uh, Thursday will be my Vancouver YVR live stream days, Thursday mornings. Uh, right now I've got it set for 9 a.m. Pacific time. That might go plus or minus depending on schedules and uh, etc. So, but for now, uh, it, obviously, if the weather is cooperating, it's going to be a nice day. My live stream day is Thursdays, 9 a.m. Pacific time. We'll do pop-up shows as uh, conditions warrant, for sure. And probably evening pop-up shows as well, because I really like those. And uh, it's gotten uh, a bit warmer here. It's probably, yeah, low double digits. Maybe it's 11, 12 degrees. So what's that? Uh, in mid-50s, for those of you that are uh, using Fahrenheit, or uh, not Celsius. So yeah, 12, 11, 12 is the Celsius temperature here in Vancouver at this moment. Um, 
what else can I tell you? Um, uh, let's see. So yeah, Paul, you hopefully you'll be able to. I'm sure you will be able to uh, find a job here at YVR. There's a lot of jobs. As a matter of fact, uh, the YVR Sky Talk newspaper often has jobs posted uh, for anybody looking for work. Actually, at the airport. Uh, check out the YVR Sky Talk and the airlines themselves, their websites, Air Canada, uh, Pacific Coastal, um, WestJet, the, uh, Air Canada Jazz. If you check out their, their respective websites, you will see their current job openings. And I know there are a lot of job openings. Um, what else can I say? Um, well, yeah, we've transitioned over uh, to, so I've got uh, new equipment here, I've got it set up, and we've transitioned um, out of the, uh, no, there's a phone call, which I'll have to send to voicemail, because it's interrupting, yes, so, um, yes, as you guys know, I did my uh, live stream, I've been doing my live stream here at YVR for a couple of years, and I'm now doing it on my own channel and uh, um, certainly I'm happy to be continuing the show. It's something I enjoy doing and um, it's just happy to be here and we've got a Beach King Air tax taxing in right now so let me put that on and um, stop the camera down a bit Here we are. Nice. This is a medevac aircraft. There's the uh, Beach 1900 landing. Cool. Oh, but to answer your question, Mick, yeah, I mean, we've been in communication, obviously, for this transitionary period uh, over from their system to my system. So, uh, but obviously, moving forward, they will continue to do. Um, uh, what their ex, you know their shows and their expertise, uh, and I will continue to do my uh, show here in Vancouver. So, uh, independent of each other. So that's you know essentially the answer to your question. But it did take us a while for this uh, transitory period and to get set up uh, with my new systems over here. So in Vancouver, so there was a fair bit of teething and testing. And uh, that's behind. Uh, that's behind us now. So I'm just happy to be here and look forward to moving forward with the stream. So it's good fun. I love it. I love coming out to the airport. I love seeing you guys on the chat and chatting with you guys and talking aviation. And I'm just looking forward to having a good, fun, busy summer uh, for all of us, really. It's a really nice day here in Vancouver, actually. Oh, we've got another King Air coming in. Or is that the Beach 1900? Uh, this is the Beach 1900 D model. This is a D model, and then we've got a C model right there. So double Beach 1900s. Look at that, guys. Stretched up her deck with the Pacific Coastal. That's, that's your D model right there. And this here is uh, your, your C model without the stretch, stretched upper deck. So good comparison of C models to D models. Very cool. So 
So meanwhile, back at the ranch, at the main terminal. Oh, we've got a biz jet turning onto the active right now. So I'm going to bring the camera around to that. Got a. Uh, sorry, guys. Just maneuvering myself around the tripod. I'm doing the tripod dance. Oh, there we go. This guy's on. On his way out of Vancouver. That was a quick visit. Efficient and quick visit. Okay. So he's he's out of here. Back to terra firma. Really, it's just super busy, which is quite nice. I mean, it's not LAX, it's not JFK, and it's not Heathrow, but for what it for what it is, it's pretty good. Batteries at twenty nine percent. We've got this Air Canada Jazz Q four hundred, and it is heading to over to down to Seattle, actually. So it's about 30 minute, 25 minute air time. It's the Air Canada Jazz Flight 800. Turning on to the active. No delay on the roll, I might add. stuff. There he goes, up into the wild blue yonder. Smooth as silk. With a short, short flight down south, down to SeaTac Airport. Where were we? Meanwhile, back at the ranch, at the WestJet gates. So let's see. Well, we've got a little bit of a breather. What time is it? It's 11.53. So we started at 9, 10. Well, wow, we've been going almost th three hours. Well, it's amazing, actually. Uh, just so we know... Uh, my battery's at 27%, so hope you guys are doing... Okay, Venkman says gel incoming. Thank you, Venkman. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> See, I need your eyes here, actually. I definitely need your eyes as well, so we can get the gel on the incoming. That was very much appreciated to give me the heads up that gel was incoming. that gorgeous and then he'll present very momentarily like right about in between there and then we lose him to the uh, yeah just you barely get the tail there through the trees so say la vie but uh, Venkman thanks for the heads up there's our cargo jet. Maybe we can leave the cargo jet 767 kind of full frame like that. And I can have a quick glance at the chat. Uh, okay, Venkman, thank you very much. Air France is a few minutes behind, so we'll be watching for the Air France as well. And then we can follow the Air France in from a bit further out as soon as I see uh, landing lights on it. So we'll definitely do that. And I'm going to pull back. Oh, here comes our, the Nisku Air. Oh, I almost missed him. There's Nisku Air. Fresh air. Different, isn't it? Bit of a different view. 
you. Fresh air stuff. Keeps the airplane nice and clean and fresh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. We've got a nice landing here. On this side, no less. I've just been alerted that we had this aircraft coming in on this side. Isn't that nice to see? Nice and gentle landing. Great. Thank you very much for the heads up. And we've got Air France, of course, on the other side. Right there. And from Paris. It's like when it rains, it pours. And then final wing view, kind of right there. Get a little bit of a glimpse. Thank you very much for the heads up on that. Yeah, it was good. Say again? Okay, have a good day. Yeah, there was a gentleman here right now, and he just gave me the heads up. So extra sets of eyes are always very much appreciated. He just, uh, he's on a bike, so, oh, I did, he, he's on, there we go. He's on a bike, so he's just zipping around the airport, having a nice, having a nice time. Yes, two for one. Yeah. Okay, oh, it's still bright. Let me, I'll stop it down just a tad. Let's bring her down. Is it still bright? Is that a bright image? How, how's that image right now, that uh, 767? Would you call it bright? Should I stop it down more than that? You guys let me know what you think. How's the brightness there? Let's see what you guys have to say. It's okay. Okay. Thank you, Mixter. I'm glad that it's okay now. So, yeah, because on the back of my camera, it seems to be okay, but uh, I don't have my umbrella. I'm not under my umbrella just because it's not that hot. So uh, the back of the screen is sometimes not 100% perfect in, uh, in my assessing whether it's too bright or, or, or not. So I do appreciate your guys telling me whether it is bright or not. So thank you very much. And do not hesitate to tell me if something's too bright, too dark. One more stop. Uh, no, Venkman says maybe one more, meaning a uh, little bright. I can stop it down a bit more, no problem. Let's have a look. Um, I can stop it down. I stopped it down another one, so I just took it down again. Um move it to a different area maybe it's kind of like that like to my eyes that looks okay I don't know but you guys tell me I've just put the Avro liner on it I did not bring the shovel Martin no snow is in forecast so no no shovels were brought to the airfield today and we've got Air Canada coming out A330. There, see, we're now getting some heat distortion because the temperature is coming up. So, but that's okay. We, we can live with it. Uh, this Air Canada A330 is heading to Montreal. It's the Air Canada 306 service to Yule, Montreal. Little dark. Let me, um, let me make it a little, hang on. Let's have a look. Hang on. There we go. I think the light's better now. Exactly. 
Uh, YKA sweater. Yeah, the the RJ does look nice, doesn't it? Um, it's a oh, the, yeah. You like the screensaver? This screensaver shot right there. That's a screensaver right there. That's that's your screensaver shot. If you want to grab a screensaver of it, that's actually really quite nice. And uh, it sits here pretty much whatever it's not flying. But I don't mind it. It's it's not too much of a uh, a block on the view. And where is our... There we go. Here's our Montreal, Air Canada Montreal flight taxing out. Oh, I've got some nice burnt uh, Avgas smell or burnt kerosene. It's lovely. Battery is at 20%, so um, I'm watching it. We might have to do a fast battery change. Maybe once the Airbus goes behind the Avril liner, I'll do it. Well, I'll just I'll nurse it down, right? I'll nurse it down. Looks good. I, I like the mountains. That's a screensaver too, maybe. Kind of like right about there. Something like that with the beautiful mountains. That's, that's kind of nice. Well, as I say, I'm going to watch the battery. We're at 19%, but I want to I want to milk it for all that we can. Screensaver. Kind of like that. Yeah, you're right, YKA spotter. You could have worse airplanes than this blocking the view. Definitely. Yeah, Rouge. We'd, we'd nev almost never see a Rouge airplane in Vancouver, other than, I guess, if it's an equipment sub. They're, they're very rare to see in Vancouver. For the time being, that can change, obviously. Yeah, so this, A this Air Canada A330 is heading to Montreal Airport. Pierre Trudeau Airport, Montreal. Look at the mountains. There we go. That's a nice framing right there. Snowcap Mountains. They'll be bare pretty soon, though. Not too much longer for them to be bare. Isn't that nice? Lovely. Lovely. Go tight, maybe. And I'll turn on the radio. Why not? I can give it a bit of a radio test. Oh, oh look at the bird. I think they're just crows. Nothing too spectacular on the bird, on the avian bird front. There we go. Here comes Air Canada. Into frame. Temperatures are getting warmer, if I dare say so. I've got the radio on. Bird watching, exactly. Okay, well, Martin, thanks for watching. I appreciate your being here. Enjoy the rest of your work day, and thanks so much. And hello, Rich Cullum. What's wrong with that aircraft? I'm not... Yeah, it looks okay to my eyes. So, we've got an airplane on approach, obviously. The, uh, Air, the uh, Air Canada's holding for it. It's holding for this. King Air. Focus, focus. Come on, focus. There we go. Medevac, touchdown. Hotel, 
Okay, let's get the Air Canada now, which is taxing to the button for its departure to Montreal. Turning on to the active. Runway 26 left here at Vancouver International. That's a nice view. That is a nice view to my eyes. Hope it looks good on your screens. Let's see if there's any delay rolling on the big bus riding the bus to Montreal. There it goes. Oh yeah, kind of neat rotation there guys, kind of a neat rotation, just in the nick of time. So we'll kind of wait right here to pounce, pounce on it, ah, that was fast. I lost it actually because it was, it, it, it rotated early so I did not have it in the right location. Okay, so we've got a King Air taxing in, a Medevac King Air, right here. One of our regular Vancouver Medevacs. They come and go quite frequently throughout the day, these King Airs. And we've got something on the other side. If I can get the camera on it. Right about there. Some Air Canada Max coming in. Landing on 26 right. Air Canada Max. I'll have to figure out. Oh, Q400. <laughs> there it is. Climbing into the Stratus. Nice. Nice stuff. Battery's at 13%, so... I'll watch it like a hawk. Maybe we'll change the battery here in just a second. So let me uh, do a countdown for the battery change. So I'll pull the lens back into wide-angle position and get the replacement battery ready. And uh, we'll do a battery change. Why not? So I'll just do a countdown here, folks. So bear with me. Ten, this is a battery change countdown. So at the count of 10, I'll change the battery. The screen might go black for a few seconds, and I'll be back. So here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, Yes, Sue Major, you're right. I'm counting. Two, one. Saddle. Back in the saddle. Okay, thank you. Thank you, folks, for your patience. Yes, we are back. Camera looks, I think the light looks good. 
So, there we are. We're back to 100%. It, the time is 12.10 here in Vancouver. And uh, 12.10 exactly. This is the YVR live show with Henry Tenby. Streaming on the Jetflix TV channel here on YouTube. This beautiful Thursday afternoon, the 18th of April 2024. Absolutely gorgeous day. Gorgeous, yes, Sue, gorgeous views. Uh, we'll see you next time, Steve. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate your being here. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll have to see what we've got coming out in the next little while. Just so everybody knows, uh, we've been streaming now for three hours. Uh, just because it's been so nice. Uh, generally, I don't stream for three hours, but I'm so comfortable. The weather's so nice. Uh, I figured, why not? So, uh, but let me bring out something here and have a chit chat with you guys. Give me a second. I think I brought it with. I'm just looking in my. Uh, if I got it here, my hat. Did I bring it? brought maybe a goodie to share with you guys. Let's see. Uh, no. I didn't bring it. It's to do with my new book, but it'll be I'll have it next time and we will talk all about it. But those of you that know me, I'm publishing a book. A very historic airline book. So I'll tell you guys all about it. And I've got I've got the hard copy book from the printer, which I'll be sharing with you. Uh, and I've also got news that the books are going to be arriving for the, at their distribution points in both Europe and Canada very shortly. So those of you that have ordered the book, uh, the my air travel time machine book, uh, you'll be getting them pretty soon. They'll be on their way to you pretty soon. So. Um, yes, so I've, I'll, but I'll have a visual for when I come out to the airport next time to share with you guys a full visual on my new book. So that's coming up. Uh, Ilya, Il, Ilja asked, what have I missed? Uh, a few bits and pieces. Uh, you know, not, I, we had an Air, uh, Air France arrival, A350. We had JAL arrival, 767. We've had quite a few biz jets. We also had the KF Aeroflyer departure. That was nice. That was very nice, the KF Aeroflyer departure. I like that. High performance takeoff. So, yeah, you'll be able to scrub back and uh, check those out. And Flare is taxiing right now. Let's see if we can figure out where Flare is heading to. Flares heading to Edmonton. Yeah. Did I miss it? Where is the aircraft? There it is. There's the flare. The flare is there. Not a bad color scheme. Definitely has a low cost look to it, doesn't it? it kind of has that. Do I want to say, is the word cheap? has definitely low cost look and feel so if that's what they're trying to achieve they did it yeah flare taxing out for about an hour and 20 minute flight no maybe an hour and 10 minute flight to Yegg Edmonton International and Leduc For those of you that haven't been, the Edmonton International Airport's about a, what is it, a 40 minute, 30 to 40 minute drive from the city center of Edmonton. It's south, due south of the uh, town of city of Edmonton, uh, adjacent to the communi community of Leduc. So that's where this airplane's flying to now. It's flying to Edmonton. Beautiful Edmonton, Alberta. And what have we got coming in? Something 
something way up there in the ozone. <laughs> well, yeah, United Airlines. Up there in the ozone. Making their way down. United 320. Okay, back to Flair. Flair is there. There's Flair. But first of all, a King Air. Another Medivac King Air is going out. So we can watch that King Air as it departs Vancouver. It's rolling thunder. Up, up, and away. If I can catch it. Kind of. Got it. Okay. Back to terra firma and the flare. There's flare. This will be more exciting for us, I think. Gosh, it looks good. Looks good there. Sit Waiting to hit those throttles to the firewall. Release the brakes. And she'll be Edmonton bound. Heading to beautiful Edmonton, Alberta. I'm sure the Edmonton weather is not too different than our weather today. I'm sure they're having nice weather in Edmonton. I hope they are. I'm wishing that for them a nice day. As we are having a nice day here in Vancouver Yes, uh, Ilya, the, uh, the SOD 340 did the engine test. It lasted about 10 minutes, to answer your question. Thank goodness it didn't last longer. But yes, they did the engine test. Full engine test, nice and noisy. Pleasure, Mixter. You have a good night. Sleep well, and we shall see you next time. I appreciate your joining the show. Very much appreciate that. Waiting patiently for flare. I'll turn on the radio so we can hear. It. There we go. They're finally rolling. They're busting a move. See if I can. I'm gonna just try to hold this on the nose. It's not easy. Not easy, right? Looking sloppy on my part. Not easy. Tried my best. Okay. American Airlines. Let's see where this American Airlines is going to. American Airlines is heading to a Dallas Fort Worth. It's the American Airlines flight 1415, 737 800. But there was something else here. Oh, swoop! We got a swoop in the house. They're rare. They are rare to see. Very rare. Okay, and 
And look what's taxing out here. Cessna Amphib. Cessna Caravan on floats, Amphibian on wheel floats. I guess that's Jim Pattison Industries, based on the registration. Jim Pattison's airplane. It's my guess. Jim Pattison is a uh, local billionaire. Yeah. So that's this nice airplane. Very nice airplane. WestJet 37. Heading to Edmonton. Another Edmonton departure. A lot of flights to Edmonton. Edmonton is the flavor of the day for our departures. Waiting for something. Let's just see if we can figure this out. There's something inbound on short. Yeah, we got a BizJet on finals. Uh, it is a Gulfstream uh, 650. So that's what they're holding for right now. And I will, as soon as I have visual on it, I'll bring the camera around so we can check it out. So, yeah, Edmonton is the place to be. That's correct. And we, oh, we've got some heavy stuff taxing out. Got a heavy coming our way. Here's this biz jet. It's a nice looking biz jet, I must say. Quite nice. Nice way to travel. If you can afford it, it's awesome. That's cool. And those shoots, and this is what's coming our way. This we've got an Air Canada triple. Air Canada triples heading to Toronto. It's the Air Canada 104. But first of all, let's go get our WestJet 166 to Edmonton. That's going to be a treat. I think. I hope. All airplanes are a treat. All aircraft are treats in my opinion. WestJet. We've seen our fair share of these guys today. They're earning their keep. rotation out of it. Maybe. We might get an early rotation. Maybe. Go, 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 go. Yes. Yes. We got it. We got an early... Oh, look how fast Air Canada's taxing. My goodness. Look at this. 
That's what a fast taxi on this guy. Holy moly. Those flight attendants barely probably have enough time for their pre-flight. Oh, look what's coming our way. Look at this. Magic. Magic corporate iron. So beautiful. This has to be the, the focus of our attention right now. Beautiful looking piece of kit. Wow. And do we have any rich and famous on board? Do we have any rich and famous? Hard to tell, isn't it? Hard to tell. Hard to tell. But it's Air Canada's time right now. Gorgeous. Air Canada's heading to Toronto. Flight 104. 104 to Toronto's on the roll. Flip side. This is the flip side right there. Should punch through in a second. And bear, there it is. Gear up. Gear is up. Nice climb out for Toronto. Very nice climb, but yeah, impressive. Very impressive. Yes, lifestyles of the rich and famous on our biz jet here. But I don't see anybody peering through the window uh, at us with with the air cabin probably being empty again. I'm guessing. I don't know. Can we see any rich and famous? I don't think so. brighten it up there. I don't know. You can't really see anybody on board, can you? Nobody's watching us. Climbing like a homesick angel. Bat out of hell. Yeah. They're both good. Yeah. Nice looking aircraft. Yeah, I can't see anybody in there as I adjust the light, so... They're hiding. Porter Jet. Landing on the other side. Nice. Beautiful stuff. Well, we've got a little bit of a little bit of a break. A little bit of a break. How are the air crew? 
I open that up a tad. So I don't know if we we can see anything there. Yeah, no Brad Pitt, no Angelina. Uh, who else could it be? Drake, uh, DJT, but I don't think he'd be coming here. Uh, Jim Patterson. Um, the Beastie Boys. <laughs> uh, let's think of the yeah, 1980s and 90s music musicians. Yeah, the Beastie Boys. Uh, Spice, Spice Girls. Um, <laughs> okay. Another aircraft on approach. This time it's... Alaska, they're bringing a 37 in here. That's very neat. This is special, guys. We don't usually get to see Alaska 37s in here. We're usually in Embraer town for Alaska, so to have a 900 coming in, I think that's a 737-900. Quite rare. Quite rare, if I dare say so, myself. So, yeah, that was neat. The Alaska 37. Uh, it's not that we never see them. It's just that they're 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 rare. They are rare. So, yeah, Ryan Reynolds. Yes, he is from Vancouver. I don't know if he flies his own corporate iron though. Heavy. Got a heavy coming out, and the heavy is. It's going to Hong Kong. It's Air Canada's uh, flight number seven, Dreamliner service to Hong Kong, coming our way. Okay, Venkman, thanks for the heads up. I wasn't aware. Uh, Venkman says that uh, he heard that Alaska 737s will be becoming more regular. So we may get more of their special liveries. Awesome, I agree. Oh, yes, 1980s musicians, that's right. Cliff Richard, Bon Jovi, Elton John, absolutely. And uh, who else? Rod Stewart. He'd be very welcome in Vancouver as far as I'm concerned. Ozzy Osbourne. He'd be very welcome. Yeah, Ozzy would always be welcome in Vancouver. Definitely. Madonna, yes. Yeah, Madonna. Uh, Celine Dion. She, I'm, I think she travels in heavy corporate iron. She's not, a fly to, uh, she's not afraid to fly in a nice biz jet. So who else have we got from the, uh, the 80s and 90s? This is nice. This is looking really gorgeous to my eyes. Beautiful Dreamliner. Taylor Swift, well, yeah, she was from the 80s or 90s, but only in diapers. So, but yeah, okay. Taylor Swift. Justin Timberlake. Well, if we go back to the 80s, Cindy Lauper, Boy George, Def Leppard, Laura Branigan, lots of them. Eurythmics, Phil Collins, Genesis. I, I think many many of our viewers may not be old enough to know these these names. Def Leppard, Van Halen, yes, 
Some of my favorite music, actually, we're talking about here. Too bad they don't show up in Vancouver on a regular basis with their corporate iron. Although we have had Brad Pitt, we've had Elon Musk, we've had a few of these uh, people. No, the famous, the famous crew. Yeah, Pet Shop Boys. I have seen ACDC a few times. Most enjoyed their concerts. Irvine Meadows, when I was going to university down in the States. Megadeth. I've never seen Guns N' Roses, but they were big in the 90s. Yeah, so here we have this beautiful Dreamliner, taxing nicely. Runway 26 left departure. Heading to beautiful Hong Kong. City with the harbor. Nice, nice, no delay rolling, no delays rolling. They are busting a move without a delay. Let's just move the camera a little bit around here, kind of like there. Next stop, Hong Kong, Lucky Devils. Yeah, she's heavy. Yeah, she's a heavy machine. Uh, that's a long, long, long legs down to uh, Chek Chepok Airport, Hong Kong. So she's definitely going to be loaded to the, the gills. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice, nice stuff. Beautiful. Yes, Fleetwood Mac, Brian Adams from Vancouver. Yes, Joe Biden needs to come to Vancouver and he needs to bring his 747. He'd be very welcome to bring his 747 and park it right here. Right smack in front of us. I'd have no problem with that. WestJet in the new colors. Looking awesome. Beautiful. This I love the I love the WestJet scheme and the the new color scheme. It looks very very nice. I like it better than the old scheme for sure. It's magic. What's that digger doing there? Please please move the diggers. Beautiful. WestJet. Taxing with purpose. Down to the button of runway 26 left. Let me just figure out where it's going to, guys. Uh, this is heading to, according to my radar, it's heading to Palm Springs, actually. It's the WestJet. 1726. I'd like to be going down to uh, what for sure I'd be loving, loving a visit to Palm Springs. That would be fun. Uh, just to hang out by the pool. Ooh, what have we got? Hoo hoo. Pilatus time. Airplane with a funny snout. Sure looks like a drover to me. Okay, WestJet. Turning on to the active, not wasting any time. Not mucking about.
not mucking about at all. WestJet means business, but it means Vancouver to Palm Springs service. Okay, they're waiting for the all clear. They'll be busting a move very shortly. Let's see if I can get this right. Three, two, one. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Something, there we go. We'll see how full the airplane is. Let's move the camera to the back end of the biz jet. get a rotation out of it yeah we did we did we got a rotation and a nice one two very nice rotation for us we're the good guys so we got rewarded by WestJet with a beautiful rotation and we've got another WestJet here uh, that's gonna be hitting to let's figure it out Calgary. So this WestJet's heading to Calgary. There you go. It's a special scheme airplane. Number oh, look, 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 looky, looky. Another departure of the Amphib Cessna Citation. So nice to see. Very nice to see. What a cute looking airplane with its gear and floats. So nice. Beautiful. And here we have our Pilatus. It's right there. It's a funny snout. American registration visiting us from the States perhaps and WestJet is now where's WestJet there we go right there. We'll wait for it. Not sure we'll get an early rotation on it, but we might. We just might. I'm almost. Kind of. Kind of. So there's Flare. Just having I think they've just arrived. Guessing they've arrived. Oh maybe they might be heading out actually. We'll have to check the radar on that in a second. Uh, Korean Airlines is pushed back. Thank you for the heads up on that. Uh, Venkman, Korean heading to Seoul. So I guess yeah, we'll see it quite soon. That's awesome. And I did see, where's the flare? There it is. Right there. So my, a, lot, a lot happening here on the field. Quite a bit. Move the camera a little bit over so we can wait for the flare to present. There it is.
Where is the flare going? I just have to take my eye off the camera for a second. Puerto Vallarta. Okay, so this flare is heading to Puerto Vallarta. What's that? Oh, this guy's this guy's uh, moving. That's who it is. Okay. So he's got his clearance to go wherever he's going to park from customs. Very cool. Not a bad guy. I like... Ooh, look what we have here. Ho, ho. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Not sure I'm going to be able to get the camera to focus on it. What a shame. Turbo Beaver. Highly unexpected. Highly unexpected. That is a Turbo Beaver on Amphib floats. Very rare. Very rare. Wow, so we've got our Boeing turning on to the active. A lot happening. It's been a really busy day for us, which is awesome. Waiting for the flare to depart to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. It's flare flight 2800. Pull it back just a tad. quite heavy. Yeah, that was a bit of a heavier, heavier uh, departure there. Might see it in the usual spot. Wow. Triple. It's heading to Incheon Airport. Seoul. There it is. Seoul, Korea. It's Air Canada Flight 063. Making its way down to the button. 26 left. You're at YVR. You're watching Jetflix TV. My name is Henry Tenby. It's YVR Live. Vancouver International Airport. Hope you're enjoying the show. I'd like to thank everybody that is here watching 
for being here. Definitely appreciate all of you for being here with us to enjoy the proceedings here at YVR this lovely Thursday afternoon. I'm sure this flight is also quite full heading to Seoul. Go oh, maybe a little bit tighter on that. Why not? See if we can see the front office. turned the radios off just to give us a bit of a break from it because it was it's a little we've got this background noise of the uh, construction equipment out in the uh, in the runway there so I thought yeah I'll I'll just kill the radio for a little bit actually it's an APU I think it's the APU as opposed to construction equipment it was quite a noisy APU We've had our fair share of heavies today, no question about that. Lots of heavies, non-stop action, pretty much for the last th over three hours since I got here. It's been non-stop, more or less, I would say. Very little uplet in the action. I think you guys would agree it's been quite busy. Yeah, this aircraft is heading to Seoul, Korea. Incheon Airport. Good place for spotting, for what I've been told. Interesting, Glenn. You're familiar with this aircraft. enjoyed it immensely. It was a wonderful departure. We now have United Airlines. If I can move the camera quickly, fairly quickly, we can get the United Airlines departure right there. I wonder if he's going to wait at all. Just a second or two so I can figure out where it's going to. Denver. It's going to Denver. And it is United Airlines Flight 289-737-800. Lots of diggers and earth-moving equipment. So this aircraft should be on its way momentarily. Wow. 
just been such a nice day, and he's rolling. viewers waiting for it to pierce on through there it is kind of nailed the tree didn't it okay it's beach 1900 time this guy is starting its engines right right now Our central mountain firing up right before our very eyes. Just trying to see what else we've got coming out here. We've got an Air Canada Star Alliance E330 heading to Toronto, which will be coming out of the Hang on, maybe I can get a BizJet landing for us. Citation. No, it's a Challenger. Challenger, Canada Air Challenger. Actually, disconnect this uh, central mount. Good question, Glenn. Good question. Um, I'll answer that in just a second. But I do have uh, a pretty easy answer for today. That's a great question. I, I thank you for an asking that, Glenn. Best flight, best service is actually quite an easy, easy answer. And once this aircraft is is, is off stand here, I'll, I'll I'll share my answer with you. wind blast. Look what's coming in. This is the uh, this is the Challenger that we saw land just a, f a minute or a few minutes ago. So amazing action. I saw the Korean land, but unfortunately, I just I couldn't bring the camera around to it quick enough, and I do apologize for that, folks. Rare registration on the Challenger.
Is that Algerian registration? It's, oh, no, it's not. But it's a strange registration, that's for sure. Very strange registration. Very unique. Impressive. Okay, here comes our Air Canada Heavy now, coming around from the other side of the uh, finger. Star Alliance, special scheme. Okay, to answer your question, uh, Glenn asked a good question. Of all the aircraft and of all the airlines, what was my favorite and, and, and most comfort, etc.? Oh, this guy doesn't know where he's going. He's lost. Yeah, he's lost. Poor fellow. Doesn't he's never been here before. He needs somebody like me to show him where to go to. He just didn't get it, right? He made a mistake. So yeah, so now he can go over to the uh, customs area, figure out where he needs to wait, Let's see if he gets it. I think he will. Okay, he's in the right spot. Definitely in the right spot now. Okay, to answer the question that Glenn asked, uh, I I save points, and here in Canada, I'm I've been a member of the Aeroplan program, which is Air Canada's frequent flyer program. Oh, for more than 30 years, I've I've been collecting Aeroplan points. So for me, uh, I like redeeming my points. For business class travel on Air Canada, whether I'm going across the country, uh, to Europe, uh, down to the Caribbean, I've used them uh, to all these destinations. So for me, the best bang for my buck is sitting in business class on Air Canada, using my points and enjoying them. And that is my very, very easy answer to the question that Glenn asked me. So um, yes, I have a credit card which is linked into my Aeroplan account and every dollar I spend uh, earns me Aeroplan points and it has been earning me points since the early 90s so yes I'm a long time loyal Air Canada Aeroplan member and my preferred airline for comfort travel convenience is Air Canada and my preferred class when I can afford it and I've got the points and they make sense is business class so I hope that answers uh, your question Glenn I might be able to. I did, more or less. That was good. Kind of neat. Kind of neat. There's Canada Customs going on board, uh, the BizJet. Uh, so this is definitely from out of town. They're not a regular. So we're going to send people on board and uh, inspect the airplane, I think. So I think that's probably what's going to happen here. It's my guess because the airplane's not been here before. They're, they're unknown uh, to Canada Customs. 
so they're probably going to check paperwork and, and inspect uh, the plane I think we'll see Meanwhile, in the background, we've got our Air Canada Flight 114 to Toronto heading out. the camera to the usual spot and get the climb out right about there right by the tree right we know the tree is our target yeah I caught it I did not badly on that biz jet Sue you're right so next stop to Toronto Pearson Airport Oh, good action. Good, good action. And we've got a WestJet. New colors. Taxing beautifully by the terminal building right now. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I love that scheme. It looks really good. Really, really nice. And there's the swoop. The swoop is sitting there as well. Let's see if I can figure out where this uh, WestJet is going to. Winnipeg. It's going to Winnipeg. But we got a BizJet coming in while we wait here. Right there. Another BizJet. Kind of flubbed it. I flubbed it. Well, you can't win them all. So, it's been a fabulous day. Uh, I've enjoyed it immensely. I've been out here getting fabulous air, hanging out with you guys, chit chatting. calm right now. I turned the radio off just for a bit of a break. Yeah, but I've been streaming for since 9 o'clock. So this is my last battery and it's actually at 27% right now. So this is my fourth battery. So I've, qua I've quaffed through four batteries pretty much. 27% remaining on this battery. So, I mean, we've had a good run today, I think. I think we've had an excellent run. If I dare say so myself, it's been it's been really good. Okay, it's going to get noisy bit.
Biz Jet taxiing in here as well, the one that's landed. This one here, I can show it to you because I guess we've got a bit of a delay here on the West Jet. This one. the West Jet rolling right there before us. It's a lot of action. It is a lot of action today. One biz jet after another. One after another. So he's, this guy's pulling in here. And this guy's leaving. It's been really, really, really super busy for us. If you guys have enjoyed the show, I would appreciate it if you guys could hit the thumbs up, the like button. That would be mega appreciated if you guys could hit the like, thumbs up button. Thank you for that. That would be very kind of you guys to do that. Q400 on the roll. Right there. Okay, that's Delta. I thought I saw a Q400. They're moving fast. There it is. They're moving fast, right? They're mo very fast. Well, things are happening quick, I would say. Glenn's Aviation Love. I'm going to Boston for a cruise, then to Quebec, then to... Wow! And Vancouver, 20 do 22 days in September. Wow! Amazing, Glenn. Sounds fantastic. Where's that Q400? Uh, there it is. Yeah, that sounds like a great holiday you've got planned for later this, uh, towards the end of the summer. Very nice. Okay, back to Delta. Back to Delta. Delta Airlines is waiting for their clearance. Clarence. And the Delta Airlines is heading to none other than Minneapolis, St. Paul. There it goes. It's rolling. Beautiful. Nice departure. Let's see if we can get a rotation out of him. 
Maybe. Yes, yes, we did. And we've got an Air Canada. What is this? Is it a CRJ? No. C Series, I think. Looks like an Air Canada C Series. Air Canada C Series. Yes, A220. It's heading to Montreal. It's Air Canada Flight 308. And I've only got 20% left on my battery, so we're kind of at the end here, folks. But we've had a very fun show. We've had a good fun time. Here goes the C-Series, turning on to the active. Or as they call it, an A220. I don't think I can ever buy into that terminology myself, but, you know, that's just my own personal thing. For me, it's always going to be a C-Series. And then it's quiet after this, really. And my battery is down to 20%. So, as you're watching now, uh, I just want to thank everybody for, for hanging out here. Here goes the C-Series. Rolling. We're rolling. Yes, 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 we did it. Hip, hip, hooray. Okay. Well, I'll just put myself on camera here for just a second. We've got 19% left on the battery. I'll open it up. And uh, let me thank everybody for being here. I really appreciate all of your time and support and participation uh, in the channel and with the live stream. That's been a good fun time. I mean, we've been going for a long time. We started at 9 a.m., so it's 1 o'clock. So this is almost a record uh, for me personally. Four hours. The battery is about to end. So it's been an amazing time. Uh, my regular time for streaming uh, YVR live stream will be Thursdays, 9 o'clock in the morning, plus or minus. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. You'll get notified when I am going live. And do watch the community uh, tab for notices that I post on what's going on. That's the way that I'll keep you updated on the streams and other activities. So thanks for watching, everybody. It's been good fun. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, that little thumb uh, if you can like it, it would be amazing. And thanks so much for watching, everybody. Very much appreciated. All the best. We'll see everybody next time. Bye for now.